Oh my god, 28. And we're back. And I'm just gonna, Amanda says. My friend DDG says he wasn't aware of racism was still an issue until the Little Mermaid backlash. I thought Martin Luther King canceled that shit out. I need you to hear the gum face. Judgy auntie, but I'm here for oh, it. Welcome to Soul Palin. <sighs> welcome to Soul Palin, y'all. We are back. Definitely uh, Judgy auntie, because that is where we are now. We are entering the age of aunts and uncles. Of aunts and uncles <laughs> with a lot of fucking opinions, and we are those aunts and uncles. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm really getting older. It's crazy. Oh my god. I'm okay, after like two weeks, we are back. Yes, yes, Capri. I'm D. And so pal child, you know what we do here. If you have been listening, uh, we taste the spirits. We're normalizing the black and brown palette. We're being us beautiful black women. Um, and sometimes we bring people along with us. Yes. And talk about all the things. All so. the things. Everything yeah. in and out. Literally inside ourselves and outside ourselves. Ooh, pause. <laughs> <laughs> inside and outside ourselves. Yes. Ouch. Reflection. Deflection. No, I don't know. <laughs> a little bit of that. It can be a little talking sometimes. Yeah. You know, we're not perfect people, but it is what it is. We're back to whiskey today, y'all. We are back to whiskey. We are sipping on some 291 today, courtesy of our sponsor, Sealbox. Thanks, Sealbox. <laughs> hello, hello. Don't and your promo codes. I was going to say, for our uh, beautiful listeners slash watchers, if you're uh, watching us on the tube, mm-hmm. you can use the promo code SOUL. For free shipping on your order from yes. Sealbox. Yes, so, yes, yes, yes. And we have an app now, so it's even easier to order. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, the website was like extra easy too. Or have app now? Too. now we have an app. I did not see that drop. Girl, yes. Wow. So we haven't officially sent out the email about it, but I did post about it on Sealbox page. Oh, shit. Um, so, you know yeah. what? Instagram ain't shit because I don't it's the algorithm. ever it's see the algorithm. Sealbox stuff. It's the algorithm. Unless I'm looking I at your stories. I have to search for Chuxy's Best from Sealbox Joint because. Like, even like we were actively Seriously. posting, nothing was showing up. So, when we post on Soul Palette and I go to Chuxley's Best thing, it's just going to pop up? Nope. you got to scroll, like, three or four posts down, and then it's there. Mm-hmm. That makes no sense. Mm-hmm. Got time for this? Thankfully, Soul Palette pops up on the seal box joint. That's good. But, I mean, either way, I control the damn seal box page. So, right. it's going to be seen from the seal box page either way, because I'm searching for it if it's But special. you're on all those pages, so that's what my thing is, like... It should just show the great. fuck up. You nope. know what the fuck's going on. That's I'm not a not different how person. To, not how I clicked over. Algorithm works. Oh my god. Algorithm is bullshit. Bullshit. You know, people are now posting their. There's like a thing that people are posting their photos as reels now to like. Oh yeah. Trick the algorithm yeah. or whatever. And it's just like. Because mainly reels are showing up more than anything. <laughs> I fucking love it. For 30 seconds, Please you just staring at this picture. I'm like, what's going to... I'm going to at least do it for like five seconds, though. You ain't got to do 30 seconds. Bitch, of I'm the trying show. to figure out if it's going to move. I'm that person like, is this a video or not? Is it a play? <laughs> is it one of those waiting to the end type of things? <laughs> like, shit. Like, shit. Oh, No, God. it don't be. It's just them posing. That's so Being nice. cute. Reels are fun though. Reels I'm really happy fun. that they they take a lot of time, but they're fun. They do take a lot of time. And recently, during this fucking retrograde, I always want to say metrograde. Um, <laughs> you know, Instagram be fucking up, and I almost lost my reel that I posted from Columbia. I, I saw it pausing and like not allowing me to like go to the next step. I said, mm-hmm. if this motherfucker crashes right now after I put all the clips, all there, that work. That's why you always save the draft. I know. Always. Save I was. The draft. A, I wasn't even there yet. I don't know. It was. So, but it didn't happen. It, everything was fine. But I was just. I was gonna okay, give up. Good. I was gonna give up because it should just pop back up. It's not even how the song goes. But. <laughs> yeah, what is the song that will the Never gonna get it. Oh. <laughs> As I was thinking, I was like, I actually don't know what the words are. Um, so, yes, I love when we do a full, like a, a same distillery 
yeah. right up. We haven't done one of these in a minute. We've done a lot of comparing, contrasting, whatever across uh, different categories. Yeah. So in categories. I'm excited about this. So, yes. Yes, y'all. So free promo code for free shipping if you are interested in any of the bottles that we are tasting and it is available on sealbox.com. Yes. That is that nugget for you. Promo code soul. And yeah, get that Sealbox app while you're at it. It's Maybe. available on Apple and Android phones. Love that. So get into it, bitch. Get into it, get into it. So a little bit about a 291. They're based out of Colorado. Okay. So 291 Colorado Whiskey is uniquely is a uniquely American story. Honoring the Western whiskey of a, a whoop, of a bygone era. Oh, okay, interesting okay. choice of verbiage. <laughs> 291 is a passion project, a former New York City fashion photographer, and was first created in a small basement from a one-of-a-kind still constructed from old copper photographic plates. Huh. Interesting. Okay. 291 is hard made the Colorado way. Grain to barrel to bottle, and the distillery's whiskeys are finished with toasted staves of Colorado aspen trees. Mm. Ooh. 291 has been earning awards and recognition since its first run off the still in 2011. Wow. Named 2022's Icons of Whiskey American Craft Producer of the Year, World's Best Wheat Whiskey in 2021, and World's Best Rye Whiskey in 2018, as well as Best American New Make in 2022. Ooh, I want to try the new make. Um, in 2022, 2021, and 2020 by the World Whiskies Awards. I just want to say, mm -mm. not everybody gets awards, but a lot of y'all motherfuckers be getting awards. Like, especially when it first comes out, somehow it's just like, oh, this somehow is it's like all of the excitement around it's I release like, or whatever. Yeah. Everybody got an award when it came out, didn't they? There's, There's like, a lot of different awards out yeah. there. Like, I'm learning more about them every day for, for Yeah, that's for, right. Like, fucking... L.A. spirits this and the New Orleans spirits that and everything and the Ascot and then right um God there's all of them New York there's just one, so many yeah there's, there's, there's so fucking yeah, many everywhere like and it's okay. like are they all under uh same company because mm -mm. people because I know like, Ascot I mean Fred right handpicked those people but I'm just like what constitutes you to be in a war show and then like. You know, how do you become prestigious enough to be like, I'm giving out awards? I guess you it's, know? I guess it comes with, at least I'll say for the only one I have any firsthand knowledge of, like Fred has a palette that is very often like revered as in, as having like an expertise in knowing what counts as good, particularly whiskey. Right. Um, what counts as good whiskey. I know he's into other spirits, but he doesn't really build his, his brand much on the other spirits as much as he does whiskey so right um like if he says something is whiskey of the year it'll sell out right like rue he put not put rue on the map we were selling rue well before he called it whiskey of the year because mm -hmm. we sent it to him but when he called it whiskey of the year or whatever like we got flooded with orders for it oh thank god there was so much <laughs> <laughs> sorry it was so much i remember it looking at me but i was right <laughs> That's so true because we still have Rua left from that massive batch oh my God. that Blake ordered. So big, dude. We did not have to order Rua for a while. Yeah. But um, but he has that that type of influence. Yes. And I think he picked people who he also looked to see what they enjoy, what they like, and trusted their opinion on what's good and what's not good also. Nice. Um, so I think that's at least the criteria for how he's done it. I don't know who owns the rest of these. Right. So I don't know how they're choosing them. But we know people whose palates we probably, you know, respect or whatever. Right. Um, for being discerning like Clyde, right. Tiffany. Um, right. I don't know how to pronounce what his name. Ooh, to this day. I don't want to mess it up. So I'm just going to say and Tiffany because like we know who so you are, girl. Yeah. You know who you are, girl. <laughs> No one can uh, tell you. <laughs> no one can tell you who you are, bro. Exactly. <laughs> Seriously, though. Love but her not, so like, much. So we know some people who are in multiple of these. Um, oh, it. yeah. Sonia, Jack. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I'm hoping that those people are using, like, similar criteria. I guess it's just based on who likes whose palate yeah. or or, you know, is who's doing the studying, who's really tasting analytically and not just for preference. Like, yeah. th that type of stuff matters for sure. For sure, for sure. Yeah. It's fascinating. It really is because, like, these awards are really based on everything, all kinds of award shows, right? Like, mm -hmm. acting award shows, music award shows, all this stuff. It's like, 
the judging. Like, it's who, a committee of people that are chosen. Just committee of with random opinion, people with opinions. <laughs> exactly. On their yeah. industry. How dare we? Who are we humans? Just judging shit Fucking- all the damn time. Fucking <laughs> presumptuous sons of bitches. That is what we are as humans. Presumptuous Guess who voted for that shit? bitches. Me. <laughs> Guess who gave me that the board? Me. <laughs> like that's how I feel like at the end of the day sometimes. I like being a part of um It's pretty being cool. Like a, yeah, I like it just because I know when I see that sticker on it. Yeah. That I was I well, actually agree that, that it's good yeah. because I help stamp it. I help stamp it. Yeah, yeah, this is good. So I like that aspect yeah, of yeah. it. So it's like if you have those people, if you know people that are in some of those different um, councils, I'll say whatever. It makes it easier to make an educated choice too when you're trying That's something. True. Also, like, absolutely. Oh yeah, I'm gonna ask Tiffany. She on that joint. Oh, okay, double go. You could even ask them. Did you vote for this one? What's your thoughts? For yeah, that's like, true. That's so true. I like that part of being able to again make an educated like decision on some shit about a drink because this shit don't be cheap. Ooh, it's not this cheap anymore. Shit is expensive. Really I thank God I'm in retail. Thank God people just want to send me shit. That too, <laughs> because the offers listen. to get samples and shit is like increased by the day. Yeah, so you can keep it coming. I ain't gonna say no. Never. Uh, all right, right. Let's get into the first sip. First, um, first we sip, yeah. Uh, first we sip, yeah. Ooh. First we sip, yeah. Sip on this shit, bitch. Uh, hey, speaking of, uh, <laughs> is that how it goes? Hey, do you listen to Glow Um, no, but I did. Their songs about her. Yes, the drum. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I haven't seen the dance. I haven't oh listened to it yet. My God. I know it goes okay. in. I know we it goes in. Because I saw Glorilla. Glorilla. Yep. Right. I saw her do the. Cardi B dance thing, that in Brooklyn that, thing, yeah. But they made a whole like little like actual like dance to the beginning of Cardi's verse. Mm-hmm. She was, I was like, oh, I know Cardi went the fucking on this shit. Oh, she really did. She really did. And I she always will. Shit. Like, yo, Cardi always will. People she can, love to hate so bad, but you can't. You can't. Can. Like the bitch is gonna drop bars. Period. And she choose. And you could always like trust that she's choosing to hop on songs with people she really fucked with like that, i like that she's hopping yes. on drill drill songs and shit yes. like, i like that i wouldn't be shocked if she comes out with some shit with like ice spice or somebody like right um fuck well, I'm yeah surprisingly kind of into her voice i don't kinda know who that into is ice spice's voice have you heard this song you thought i was feeling you and it's something to munch. It's something, it's something, it's something, it's something. I don't know the uh, word. All I know is you thought it was feeling you. And that's all I got. But it's so catchy. I don't play no songs. Fucking YouTube. Yeah, just, I ain't getting fucked up. Yeah. There is a way to do it, though. Uh, so you, we are allowed to play the music if we're talking through it. Uh, we can't just have it playing just to play. Just like... Yeah, sometimes so, we do that though. But, but um, um, I'm going to play a little baby snippet to see Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Oh, yep. Yeah, I heard this before. Yeah. Ah. Ah. New York? This is New York, too, right? Yeah. But it's drill, right? Yep. Yeah. I'm so into I drill. like it that, like, her, this it's little so ass looking girl. It's good, like, good music, like street. It's good. And then her voice is music. so soft and like, yeah. okay, girl. Is that what's funny? Pa, 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 pa. Oh, and then it's the I just want to be an olive look. girl. Ka, ka, ka. I want to be an aloe girl so bad. <laughs> exactly. Just baby <laughs> make weird noises in the background. <laughs> that's <laughs> fucking hilarious. <laughs> no, but yes. So Ice Spice, that's her. Okay, Ice Spice. Yeah, I had to. Twitter's been getting me hip to everything, yo. I I don't. It gets everybody hip to everything, and I still can't dive in. Girl, you better get on Twitter. I've been trying. Uh, not just I did. Twitter. Okay, let's. You know what? Is Game of Thrones <laughs> okay. on there? Huh? Is Game of Thrones on there? On where? On our line. On our outline. Sorry, girl. Oh, no, but it should be. Oh my god, it should be. Okay. okay. Anyway, okay. Right. Let's do this first sip because we got so much to catch up on. Y'all. So much okay. To talk about. We're gonna try to maybe not make it into our episode. Let's I make see. no promises. No. So we are starting with the two nine one Colorado small batch bourbon. Okay. Made grain to barrel to bottle, distilled in a copper pot still, aged in American white oak deep char barrels, paying homage to the past, and finished with 291 signature toasted aspen staves. Okay. It is 100 proof. Nice proof to come in at. And won a double gold at mm. the San Francisco World Spirits competition. Come on, 291. Y'all really is doing it, though, huh? Mm-hmm. I hear a lot about the San Francisco one. I feel like that that's is. the one I hear. One of those ones you hear the most about, yeah. actually, which is why I'm shocked I couldn't think of it right away when I was listing stuff. But 
I think LA something was like the last thing I saw on social. Um, this smells mm, great. It's nice and fruity. I have never been to Colorado, but for some reason I feel like Me you neither. can smell that state with those trees. I feel like you can almost smell like their air. Like, yes. you know when you think Aspen, you think high elevation, you think very dry air, but you also think like snow yeah. and like cold, like crisp. Chris I for sure. smell that. Me too. I know that's... Maybe that's I, something to do with their water supply, of course. That makes sense. Yeah, um, definitely. And the grain they're getting is from Colorado too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all that terroir shit is real. It really is. <sighs> it smells great. It is this a bit why free. I love whiskey so much. Definitely giving me red, yellow apples. Mm-hmm. It's giving... It's giving more... It's giving multiple red fruits in here, I feel like. I agree. There is some cherry there. Definitely cherry there. Lemon mm. juice, I want to say for me. Cold or not cold. I know, right? Uh, a day old. Fridge. <laughs> a day old fresh, fresh lemon juice. Yeah, day old. Day, I guess you day juiced old fresh it yesterday. is an oxymoron, but. <laughs> it's not lemon concentrate. There we go. Yeah. You um, thought I was feeling you? <laughs> See, I love that so much. It's stuck in my head. I love it so much. Oh god, I think it's so funny. It's such a great beat. There we go. Oh wait, what's the proof again? Hundred. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, it's not, not bad, bad. Not bad, not bad. Mm. I tell you what, I feel like two nine one is one of those whiskeys that it's an acquired taste. Like you're either really into it, yeah, or it probably repels you. Just depending on it your has... preferences and palate. It is nowhere near as sweet on the palate as it is on the nose. No. There's something savory about it in mm-hmm. a way. But also yeah. like... Mm. It's woodsy. It's woodsy. It's giving woodsy. Thank you. It's it's like something about outside. Okay. I feel like I'm running through the forests of the yeah. Alps right now. But I feel like... like I'm near somebody cooking in the forest right now. Mm-hmm. I watch... Smoke. I watch a lot. There's some smoke here for sure. I watch a lot of like cooking in the pot, woods type of shit. Guy. Yeah, it's called men with pots or some shit like that. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's not men with knives or some it's shit like that. He has some knives. Because he's, he's got some real fancy knives. Right? And then he'd just be like, oh, all this shit. But I'm a knife girl, so I kind of. I just feel like this whiskey. I'm scared to even look at what they cost. Like, whatever those coals would taste with, like, that he puts on for his oven. Like, oh, yeah, like almost like. But not. I've been using recently. I've been using briquettes instead of coal. Wow. It's giving me that. Yeah, okay. Briquettes is all like I don't know if it's wood or not. I think it might be, mm-hmm. but um, but yeah, it's giving me that. Like as if, as if I was cooking over like mm-hmm. some sort of wood source. Exactly, and then definitely cacao. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Oh, man, but I can't get over that like nice smoked. Mm flavor it makes me want ribs it's like smoked herbs like before you put the protein on yeah like if you're just if i'm just smoking some some rosemary like the thanksgiving blend like rosemary sage thyme like yeah just smoking that before i actually but you know some meat is about to get in there some, yeah you yeah. know meat coming mm-hmm. that makes any sense <laughs> just given that just given that yahoo no yeah you know, you know me th- you know me's coming I did my first If You Know You Know post and it was so perfect. You did? <laughs> that one with Ryan. Oh my the God. I didn't get it. Drink. I didn't get it. Because her ass is always everybody's fucking okay, financial so I did advisor get it making spreadsheets <laughs> and clocking everybody's fucking coin. Okay, okay, okay. So you did? You I know did Ryan. get it. I did get you it. Did I just didn't know it. if there was a, like, I... Because I call, we call her ass cheap even though she's technically not cheap. She just always she's complains not. about spending money. Yeah, no, she likes to spend it though. But that shit was funny. They had Jason Pitts. It was Great. Mr. Crane. It was great. My fucking Terry Crews character and everybody <laughs> hates Chris. And my good old wife right there in the corner yes. with him. <laughs> in the cheap ski with Money Hall of Fame. Oh my god. That shit was hell- My it mother was made funny. that, first of all. She's the troll. Great. I just posted it. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Oh my gosh. Mm-mm-mm. So catch out, boo. What's going on? Ciao. Wishing I was still in Costa Rica. Oh, I bet. It, it was so beautiful. Yeah. Ooh. Tannins caught me in the throat. Oh, oh, oh. Not in the throat. Cat, <laughs> cat. <laughs> so, Costa Rica was fucking amazing. Yeah. It was fucking amazing. It was beautiful. The mm. house was beautiful. It was big. Mm. Like, 
every fucking Airbnb. How many people did you have? It was 12 of us total. Yeah, that's big. That's and big. Group. I was going to say, it was, and it wasn't cramped at all. I Super spacious. That. Everyone had their own space or whatever. She found a face. She nice. found a space for 12 people? Mm-hmm. Shout out to Kia. She How found far that inland? One. inland. Um, so from the airport, we were an hour and a half. Yeah, that's my yeah, thing. Yeah, and we had a big bus take us. Yeah. It was it was pretty seamless, actually. Was there a and town And we were by? near a town. Yeah, oh, we were near great. a town. So it was like 30 minutes to the closest town. But um, it was a town where it was a lot of good like restaurants and stuff like oh, that. Good. I had some really bomb-ass sushi. Oh, my God. Ooh. Well, they just going to where we eating. Um, yes. I had some bomb-ass sushi. And um, we had with this other place called Coco Loco, which yeah. is like a, a fun little local spot where like tourists go, but locals also go and... Um, good prices on drinks and shit like that, and it's right on the beach, like nice. high tide. The water could probably probably make its way underneath your fucking oh, shit. Um, table and shit. Yeah. So it was nice. That's awesome. Was Second nice. time in Costa Rica, right? No, first time. Oh, that was why my did first I think time. I go? What was the other island I went to with? Um, Saint, Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Saint Martin. Mm-hmm. Right. 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 We keep saying we're going to go back. We keep talking about going back to all these places. Meanwhile, we keep picking new places to go. Yeah, you come back around into it in ten years. Yeah. You know, that type of shit. Yeah. You know? Basically. Like, or at least like five. We'll see. Five. We'll, we'll see. see. You never know. We'll see. There's so know. many countries to go to. Yes. Because now really we're are. trying to figure out Europe for next year. Nice. We're thinking about doing like, um, just doing like a long cruise though. I like can't Norwegian. do no cruise, man. They're so fun. I don't want to be in the middle of the water. Yeah. I just like, if I can't see land, I like really freak out. Really? Yeah. Like, it's so much fun. I'm just like, and I just think you just about. You just want to cruise, you get so drunk, you even forget. What? Wait, but what plays in my head is the people that had to stay on a cruise when the pandemic hit. Oh, girl. Oh, I know. I'm going to wait to see how this cruise goes Woo! for my grandma and my um Never want to be stranded with a They're trillion strangers a and oh, hell limited no. food. and Limited food, limited water. <laughs> like, no. oh, you're having no. to send me shit via boat. I don't like Like, it. Like my best friend Montana said, because we was talking about cruise, he said, oh, no, we getting us a boat. We getting out of here. We're getting a rescue. I was like, let's go. Gang, gang. Let's go. We would definitely be like, at night, like, cut that shit. Get the ropes. Not cut that shit. You got to go. Where's the nearest land? Did you get the map? Who's sailing? Look at the stars, bitch. We was going to figure it out. Keep them phones charged because at some point, the compass is going to work somewhere. Somewhere. There's a compass app. In case y'all didn't know. On your phones. I mean, so. Keep this shit tough. We gotta go. <laughs> Not for you on that. Like, but I'm gonna wait to see how this cruise goes that my grandma was going on. Her and her husband and my um, brother are going in October. Yeah. For her birthday. They're also and they're like going neighborhoods on water. It's so weird to me. You said they're what? Neighborhoods on water. Like a, a like a, oh, yeah. like an apartment building on water. It's like weird. Yes, yeah, like, like food, but there's it's a playground, fun. there's there's theaters, I don't there's know. There's a water park, there's theaters, there's restaurants. It's so it's crazy. Fun. It's like no, a it's a lot of fun. Piece of it's so crazy. It's, it's literally a like idea. a mini city. Yeah, on a boat. On a boat. That's all I ever think about. It's cool though. <laughs> it is it's cool. cool it, the, the I enjoy Norwegian cool. over Carnival. I trust Norwegian to be safer mm. than Carnival just from my experience because I mean even before the panty. When we went on that cruise, that was 2019, every fucking stop, every time you get off an elevator, there's someone there ready with hand sanitizer or offering you a hot towel yes. or just like stuff like that. Like, just very much on top of it, very grown and very clean. I love that. And so I'm doing Norwegian. I'm still, if you're in Carnival, I'm going to let my grandmother tell me how to go um, and just pray. Because yeah, I feel like that's just kids. It's, it's kids. Like, it's families. Ugh. It's like a party boat. It's a and that's small fun block for of New York on one, one boat. But I'm trying to do like a two week cruise. I'm not doing that on Carnival. Two and that's like a five week cruise. Going all through Europe, though. I would, I feel, I would like feel so like, weird. Hoping How, to do like, like Spain, hoping to do Greece. But well, we have to do Greece because that was But you only get to stay on the boat. You, well, in terms of sleeping, yes. There's, yeah. They're docking days right. at these different countries, so you're not, like, constantly on water. How, you're when, really on water to get to the next place. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. So how long are you in these cities for? Um, so some of them, they're overnight. just depends. Like Cuba, we did overnight. Right. Um, but for most of them, it's like a full day. Okay. 
Yeah, and then you spend the day in that country or whatever, nice. and then by evening you're back on the boat. boat. Go to another place. Mm-hmm. Wow. And so most times it's like back to back. Like you're you only spend out of like a out of like seven days, you'll probably spend two of them full day in the on the water. Yeah. And then the rest of them is just you're on water to make stops at the next place. Okay, that's not that. So bad. it's really not bad. Like you're not just stuck <laughs> in a rotation of the ocean yeah. for two weeks. That's all no. I think about. I know. That, I know that there it's are a stops. Fun way to to travel to different countries. For that real. is that makes sense. That it's a nice way sense. to bounce around, and it's cheaper. I just have to be honest. Fun. Yeah, and then you get to feel them all out, and then if you want to fly back or stay at a certain place, then you do that. Yeah. So it's good for oh. what it is, man. It's definitely good for what it know, is. I don't know, dude. How was Columbia, though? <sighs> Columbia was amazing. I haven't heard anything about Columbia. We just seen all the great Co- outfits. Columbia was great. I really, really loved having my own Airbnb. Like, mm. it was just... I and know it was you so did. beautiful, too. Like, um, but... Yeah. The city. Hustlers. Mm. Are Ooh. so... Aggressive. aggressive. Oh, aggressive. oh my God. Yeah, it's like to walk I'm, with you and not leave you alone when you yes, say no. Yes, but it's that. like the whole city gotta be on me right now. Like, mm. leave me alone. Because he was already looking beach. bomb, bitch, and he probably looked like you got coin on you. Yeah, like, ah, where you going? Nowhere. Ah, you need help? No. no. This one man, I kid you fucking not, me, Tana, and this girl, we were walking through the park just to like, we were walking, we wanted to find like a place to get cigars. Mm-hmm. And we're walking through the park, and this guy comes up to us. Every Like, no matter what, there, there's somebody coming up to you to sell you something. Mm-hmm. And so he's coming up, and we're just like, you know, no gracias, no gracias. He's like, kept saying something, monkey, something, something, monkey. No, I don't like, want to fucking take pictures with your monkey and then pay like, for it. But like, this is what the crazy part is. Some woman that knew English but was definitely Colombian was like, mm-hmm. sloth. He's trying to tell you there's a sloth in the tree. And we look over like, oh, a sloth. Wow. I didn't know there were sloths here. Like, real ass sloth. I wanted like, to see a sloth. There's some in Costa Rica, too, and where they move in really slow. Weird ass fucking. And it was so tiny. Their hands are odd. It was tiny. I didn't think they was going to be tiny. It was a tiny yeah. sloth. It was looked it, like a part of the it tree. an adult sloth? I don't know, but it looked mm-hmm. like a part of the tree. So we're like, oh, that's cool. You know, they want to charge you to look up at the sloth. Bitch, he goes, tip? No, nigga. For you telling me to look up? So if I just so happen to look up and say a sloth, do I so tip that myself? That is just the minimum of what we had to deal with. Wow. And like, but also, have you ever watched Slumdog Millionaire? Yes. You remember they those children were stolen? Yes. And then used? Oh. Everywhere. You know how they like like injured them and everything like that. It wasn't that quite that descriptive, mm-hmm. but <coughs> sorry, y'all, that's disgusting. Um, <laughs> it really is. Um, there is, if you haven't seen *Some Dog Millionaire*, these wow, kids get wow. kidnapped, taken to like this guy that like runs shit. They get um, like eyes get taken off, their fingers get whatever to be put on the street to look more helpless so that they get more money to, to bring it money. back. And so in That's Columbia, shit. like, and I mean, we're out at like 2 a.m. There's a place called Delirium. Dope place. Um, it's like a club, but like, that's where like all the black people end up. And then all the like, sorry to say it's Colombian hoes end up because like and I mean like bad like bad like everywhere I looked I was like oh she's oh 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 Jesus like they were so fine woo but the women I might have some pictures of some um but Colombian women you are beautiful I really do love you all shades all colors like Mm -hmm. y'all are awesome but outside of this spot you got kids walking up to you. Get out of there. Like, you definitely got to hold on to your butt purse. You know, uh, you know, uh, American? Huh? And then, like, there's kids that speak English or kids that don't speak English. Oh. There are women with babies. Like, like you know, like, help me face. And, like, I'm thinking in my head, like, some of these babies not even probably not even yours. No. Like, some of these kids really probably don't have a home. Or some of these families really just out here doing like this. Like, this, are they using a key? A part of this, fi- and I get it, like these are countries that don't have the opportunities that we do. So like tourists and tourism is definitely an opportunity for them to come out and try to get the money. Because, you know, there are definitely people that are like, here, 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 they feel for it, but I'm not going not for me. it. Not me, I'm sorry. I'm so no. sorry. It ain't I'm me. I'm peeping the hustle, Peach. It, Peach. I'm like, not. You're all selling the same hats. 
The, the, you all got the same hats from the same vendor. Why would I choose your hats over their hats? When I said no to that motherfucker, why would you think coming up to me is going to change anything? You're all trying to give me a massage but on the they, beach. They try to exhaust you. They try to intimidate. Not me. They try to like. I'll fight you first. Implement. A- <laughs> like there was a point that there was this mime guy because I don't do the aggressive stuff where you like walk I know I'm not talking about the great parts that. of this trip there was really great parts of this trip but this was also part of the experience there was this we were on the beach and this guy was a mime I can't believe some people like, mime. were wearing the stuff they were wearing it was so hot down there people still had on like long sleeves and long like pants so weird Mine comes up to us. He had on back bat, not that great. He mm-hmm. didn't do no mimey things at all with his hands. Instead, oh, see, instead oh. he wanted to make a horrible voice and try to. Oh no! Oh hell no! Oh. Like that. That is what he sounded for. Like six minutes in front of us. That's like nails on a chalkboard. And like when he started, we were like, no gracias. Like we were, the beach was definitely one of the worst spots. The beach, I can understand when we were in old, the walled city. Like I understand the area. But the beach, bruh. Like every how was two minutes. Every, minute, every if somebody's minute, walking by trying to say something. Every, our whole dinner at Lapa Lapa, as beautiful as it was, there was a vendor every two minutes. Like... like they got to get this money how they can, you know? And I get... I and there are the people it, who bite, but, but damn. That I need mime, like a sign that says, He tried no. to reach for our <laughs> gin bottle, pulled out his own cup from his pocket. Hell no, he for, did it. Like, <laughs> I was like, no, don't you fucking nigga. touch that shit. Like, there was a point, like, I almost, like, stood up. Like, all of us were, like, trying to... Like, we were really trying to be chill. But I was like, yeah. I'm going to turn up first. Yeah, so, hell no. So I said, I said, no gracias, motherfucker. You need to go. Leave right now. I was like, please, por favor, go. Mm. Like, go. <laughs> Period. Did he go? Go. Uh, eventually, yes. But it definitely was almost physical. Oh, my God. And then he did it to the people next to us, and they gave him a beer. And he was like, eat it. And they came back over to him. Like, then I give him a fuck. Enjoy your beer, bitch. That's why you're not Alcohol getting this gas. gin. That's, yeah. Goodbye. The fuck? You entitled, hoe. There was a woman that she, we had the same complexion. The masseuse people out there wear nurse outfits on the beach. Interesting. Uh-huh. They're very weird. And they carry a chair. Maybe scrubs is just like their form of uniform. They carry a chair. Well, some of them have scrubs, some of them just didn't wear anything. Oh. Well, not, not, not anything, but like. You keep saying, not special. Yeah. Um, they carry a chair, they carry the massage lotion. And That's all right, they sketch. will pull up. So we buy this section, pull up their chair, and just sit in front of you. And they'll look around, look at the water. And then finally look at you and go, Massage? No. Uh, Creep. Like, ah, ah, familia, familia, the family. Like we look, look. Oh, yes, we're both black. Bo- mm-hmm. You know, bonita, beautiful hair. Oh, can I? No, no. This woman goes. She trying she to, to touch me. Talk to me. Talk to me. Squirt some fucking massage lotion. She's still talking to me. I'm like, no gracias, no gracias. I'm like, ah, uh, you know, I'm like, parts of the conversation. I was like, okay, I'm gonna answer this question. And she goes, puts and reaches for my arm to rub lotion on you. And then she's going to try to charge you for it. No, ma'am. Bitch. No, ma'am. Aggressive. Aggressive. First of all, no means no. My body is my body. Bruh. Stranger danger. So, and it's giving rape culture. Girl, it was so much happening. But outside of these hustle scammy sammies, because I call that now Carte Cartagena. 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 Um, scam City. Literally. <laughs> we will, scam it's, it's City. Scam City, bro. I feel like the cabs is a scam. Mm. Like, it's all, it's all, this. all these scams are going to one place, I feel like. It's, and I think it's the government. But, uh, to say that to say, I had a beautiful time. The places that I ate were perfect. Like, I didn't have any, like, crazy bad meals. Mm-hmm. Like, one like one meal was like this is still pretty good, but it wasn't our best. But mm-hmm. outside of that, everything else was like top notch. Oh, good, delicious okay. food. Um, mm-hmm. I had a beautiful time at El Barone, um, ca- uh, cocktail bar that I went to three times when I was okay, there. Okay, I think I posted like, on your story yeah, about them. It was just they were just 
the type of place I like to stay and just drink for the rest of the night. It wasn't a lot of people, which was weird. And it was like That's bartenders good. that really... Wasn't a lot of people at the bar, a lot of people in Cartagena, period. Oh, there was a shit ton of people in Cartagena. But okay. Wasn't a lot of people at that bar. At that bar. Oh. Which is crazy because they were like the best... They were the best bar. People were probably busy um, being tourists. Yeah, you know. And partying. People, you definitely go to... There like to party, 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 which we did one time, and then we were like, "Who are we?" Like, we woke up the next day, like, "Is everybody okay?" <laughs> like, uh, I didn't did have we any all nights make it? like that in Costa Rica? Like, I was definitely drunk. Yeah, I was. I was just getting just tipsy enough to to enjoy myself and yeah. to not get on my wife's nerves because she was well, and also she was getting furred. So I was like, we can't both be furred. So I will just let her be the drunk one and enjoy herself. That's real. And I was enjoying my little shrooms. I love and it. And my little bit of weed. We had some Costa Rican weed. It was nice. Oh, Columbia Reed was nice too. It was good. There was, a, was that good. really, we had some like, because it wasn't too strong. And it wasn't yeah, that, it like, was just enough to get me right. Nice, beautiful body, mm-hmm. high, which was great. Um, definitely hella drugs. We did the drugs for sure. <laughs> um, I was on my first cab ride. The motherfucker. <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, I hear the party. I was like, Oh gosh, ah, okay. No, He's like, oh, you know, party, party, and he reaches over me. No, to you don't the, have drugs ready in his damn. You know where the handle things are? Mm-hmm. His handle thing had a compartment where, like, so, like, a, par- a compartment that uh, covers where the screws are. Mm. That motherfucker pops that shit open. Boom. Back of coke on my lap. I was like, God. Okay. No, not right now. Like, manana. Possibly. Like, uh. <laughs> First of all, nigga, I don't know if you got fitting on this shit. I don't know what you got in here. Started as soon as I got in the cat. Like, like boat with it. What if you was DEA on vacation or they something? Know. They know. Like that true. They know. Guess, they know. They know. Like Americana. They know a fit when they see yeah. one. Americana. Back. This is what That's you want. Funny That's what you're here for. I I don't I really hope. If and when I ever crazy. go to Columbia, they'll try to offer me no coke. They are definitely going I, to. The second they say everybody in the party, I'm like, no, business, all business. <laughs> work. El work. Try behind those. No party para me, por favor. Bruh, that no. shit was crazy. I don't even want to see it. Oh my God. That shit was floating like it was raining coke in that city. It was crazy. I was like, well, this I mean, is, this that's is where everybody. it was coming from, too. Everybody. Where did, that's everybody. where it's coming like, into the U.S. One yeah, of the places. You need, it? you need it? I'm like, no, we don't need it. We actually don't. We don't need it. No. No, they just, you don't need it. They just producing that shit like it's fucking candy. Girl, it should be the official drug of the damn The country. official drug of Columbia. Listen. Kayla, maybe it is. Who knows? That's why it's in such a bundle. Oh, man. But yeah, so, so that was everywhere. And, and that's why we've been um, MIA, y'all. We've been <laughs> yes! traveling. We've been traveling. And thank God. I was happy to yeah. get into a hot tub. I was happy to get on a beach. I was happy to get mm-hmm. in the ocean water. Mm-hmm. Um. Because I need that. I constantly need that to just, like, chill the fuck out. And I'm just happy to have the view I had. Mm-hmm. It was the views for me. Oh, my Our God. Our pool was great. It, yeah. was, it wasn't too cold. Like, it was the perfect temperature for how hot it was in yeah. Costa Rica. Yeah. Like, it rains every five seconds like Miami and New Orleans. But right. then it gets right back to being hot. Yeah. Um, so I didn't mind that. It was actually really nice. It was pretty. Oh, the city flooded, too. Like, mm. it also rained there. But, like, it seemed like they didn't have any, like, sewers. So water so is just, just like, yeah, like, Ugh. like this far. But they probably the haven't car. built no underground systems like Man. that. It don't seem like they, I mean, don't I mean, seem like right the on most. this peninsula. Like they like really just in, like are on this land that's like right on the water. So it was just like the amount of water. I walked through water to get to the barn. Wow. I was determined. I, you know, everybody else like had, they did ATVs. I didn't do ATVs. Mm-hmm. And so I stayed in the house. I like ordered food and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go take myself out to dinner. Oh, the dinner was so good. And I was like, okay, let me go to El Barone. Let me go walk. Like, how far is it? Oh, a nine-minute walk. And, of course, there, my phone doesn't technically work all the time. Like, mm-hmm. The best at Wi-Fi, maybe you'll get service. Mm-hmm. So, and I don't like to, like, look like I don't know where I'm going yeah. when I'm yeah. by myself. So, I was like, I would, like, stop, look, see what direction I put it in. Man, I walked through, like, five lakes, bruh. I swear. There was so much water. I was walking the water up to here. What kind of shoes did you have? Sandals. Have? Oh my god. Was it those? And my 
No, no, it wasn't those. It was ones that were tied to my ankle. Shit, girl, it's I was like, because like at first I was like, boots. I was like trying to, yeah, definitely. I was trying to like, you know, oh, I can step here and like maybe a little, and then it got to some points where I just like, fuck it. Everybody that lives here is just walking through the water. My, I guess that's what I gotta do. Yeah, like walk, and I got to the bar. I was like, I walked so far to get here. <laughs> it wasn't even that far. I was just like, I now live here. You walls, you walk through the water, bitch. You, you're, you're I live a local. Here. I live here now. You're so. familia, bitch. Familia. Now I have a a Colombian uh, citizenship. <laughs> <laughs> they got a lot of land for sale in Costa Rica. I kind of want me a slab. No, I hear people are buying up out there. I'm not gonna lie. They're buying up like shit out there. There's yeah. a lot of new developments and stuff happening out there. You could tell it's like Americans buying the shit. Oh yeah, the style of the houses. Mm-hmm. Um, but I no, mean, yeah. I guess I'm not mad at it. Whatever. It's feeding the economy, but I just hope they don't fucking drain the ecosystem. Is my concern. They will eventually. Humans are exhausted. Why are we so? We just consume. Just consume. Oh, we just for the sake of That's fucking consumption. It's crazy. Mm. To put nothing back out. That actually to helps. To put back into it. That actually helps. <laughs> like, <laughs> come on, man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> just a Show consumption. us the ways, Lord, in a, in a way that doesn't encapsulate me in water or molten lava or something else scary. Um, that's why I don't watch end of the world movies. I love end of the world movies. You know I me. hate them. I don't need anything to be. I talk about the podcast. I don't time. want to manifest none of that shit. Mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> I always watch that shit. I don't know how I'm gonna be in, in a dangerous situation like that. The fucking earth is just coming apart and shit. And nah, I just gotta be okay. You just gotta fall into the crowd. Just gotta take a breath and fall to like damn. Is it? I feel like that's when radical acceptance comes in. Kind of <laughs> that. Is, we'll get there, y'all. We'll get there. <laughs> Let's go second. That kind of is. Yeah. That's that's all. At that point, I accept. I accept with all my the ultimate being. acceptance. <laughs> I mean, you have zero choice. <laughs> Just like flying <laughs> a rock. <laughs> this is it. This is. I just it. pray on the way down that something knocks me unconscious before I hit the ground. Man, literally, because I just don't want to be awake for it. I don't want to be awake at first. Yeah, I don't want a long. That's all I ask. Don't, I don't let me be conscious for it, man. I want to go out to the other side with no traumatic death on my shoulder. Bruh. <laughs> I just yeah. need, that's all I need. Some bad deaths, though, man. Yeah, and I just like I just think about people like getting accidents and they're still alive, oh, like geez. but can't do anything. Oh. I think about that type of stuff. I don't want that. Talk about PTSD and mm-hmm. trauma. Like, how do you drive again? Talk about PTSD though. Have you seen? Oh, let's go to second. Okay, so second is I know we'll go on forever. <laughs> forever. So, second sip from two nine one. Let's see what I want. Is their barrel proof single barrel bourbon? So we're going from the small batch to the single barrel. Is a barrel proof at one twenty eight point four. So we're hopping right back up into our usual. <laughs> Here we go. Did you miss me? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, <laughs> my mom will appreciate that one. <laughs> oh, okay, two nine one Colorado bourbon whiskey barrel proof single barrels, not your traditional southern bourbon. Big, bold, beautiful. Our award winning bourbon whiskey is a grain to glass two nine one original recipe aged in virgin white oak, okay. finished with toasted aspen staves. Okay, it's virgin white oak, so they're not charring it. That's what it sounds like. Mm, finished with okay, yes, and bottled at barrel proof for one of a kind Colorado flavor. Well, okay. bourbon has to have some kind of char though, right? Yeah, I think maybe lightly charred. It can be, I mean, because there is one, there's levels, what, one through technically five, which right. is like intense char. Um, so oh, actually, they, they don't say anything about char, do they? For a bourbon, it just has to be new. It has to be new oak. oak. Maybe it doesn't have to be charred. Huh. I think the char is for a different reason. Part of the filtering, I know that. Right. Because charcoal filtration. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like. Hmm. What is my? It's not quite yeah. fruity right away. It's... No, so I have a. What is my spray? Oh, ah, I it's giving honey. Good. It's giving like honeysuckle, basically. Oh, honeysuckle for sure. Because it's like rich honey, sage like concentrated. For me too. Mm. Yeah, I can get the sage. More of that. More of that. Smelling the terroir, where like I'm still smelling the trees and Absolutely. still smelling the air or the water. Absolutely. Definitely the honey, like I said, though, I'm like. There's some light chocolate there. When you go side to I side. I get a little bit of like um, fresh banana. 
Mm, yes, fresh <laughs> banana, not ripe. No. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I know, right? <laughs> Over loser. <laughs> I always think about Jack's video. <laughs> that shit is hilarious. <laughs> oh man. I hate when the weather changes. My body be like, bitch, guess what? Y'all, I am getting <laughs> allergies for the first time in my whole life. This, this fall area, transition man. is like I something different. Because I've been stuffy ever since it hit. Ever since September, like, coming back from my trip. I've been getting stuffy. Talking about stuffy. Sorry, guys. Segway. Um, when I went to go get my skin checked out, mm-hmm. eczema. Looking great, by the way. Thank you. I, I feel great. Eczema. Asthma. And stuffy nose are a common triple, like chronic thing. So having, so you can have eczema and likely asthma and a stuffy nose will come with that. Yes. The fuck. Or the other way around, you have asthma, then you probably have. You might eczema have eczema. And your nose is always fucked up. What kind of bullshit? I said I, I just did the Arthur hand. Just yeah, just like the, the angry fuck fist. Because what the fuck kind of bullshit? Like. What? That's some. Mm-mm. Okay, it's called triple some, triple a something, triple bullshit. It is what it's giving. It's giving triple. When I found that what out, now I'm like, oh, now I get to also blame my fucking stuffy nose on a constant basis with just my health. Great. <laughs> Jeez. Not because something's in the air. No, literally, my body's meant to be stuffy. What? That's crazy. But asinine. So when I do get to smell, it's always a great day. Which Fact. I do a lot. <laughs> it's usually like there's a, a lot of like having to blow my nose recently and oh like my God. Every doing my tasting nose and everything. Everywhere. Like what the fuck? I don't even have a cold. I'm back I don't have a Rona. Nope, I don't have that. Mm. It smells great. It does. It's there's definitely some floral notes happening on the. Mm-hmm. These aspen staves, mm. tannic as fuck. Mm-hmm. Oh, almost reminds me, and it's got to be the high elevation. Almost reminds me of like French oak staves. Almost spice, not in taste, but in in, in level cranberry. of tannins. Mm, cranberry, cranberry, like spice. tart cranberry. Mm-hmm. God, no, I need water for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My God, you're <laughs> giving, you're definitely giving that. Thank you. We are still using Mary E's water. Thank you. Which I just have convinced myself that's better than everybody else's water. I have some great water for you. We might be getting them in at seal box, just depending on. Um, what? what it's getting? called. Uh, actually, I'm not going to mention the brand yet. I'm going to wait. But I mean, if you follow my Instagram, you've seen it already. But <laughs> it's this uh, this wild water that's intended specifically for whiskey. It's coming out of Scotland. Um, oh, Jack sent me some samples of it. Ooh. Pure water, like that sounds awesome. Imparts nothing extra. Onto that whiskey, except for dilution. So good. It's that so good. That sounds awesome. So I have like a can <sighs> or two left. Just don't, like the fact that water really does freely come on this earth. Bitch. And the way that we. Please don't just... get me started on it because I watched Black Market with Michael K. Williams, Rest His Soul. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. the last episode was about black marketing of water. Yeah. Like how these corporations are fucking cutting off access to these natural fucking bodies of water, these streams, whatever, and rerouting it to like a plant or a reserve of theirs where they're then filtering it out, bottling it or whatever, and selling it to you. (laughs) And then they're canoodling with these government officials and these fucking water companies that provide the water you shower with, you dishware, all that stuff. They're fucking giving you shit water out of your faucet, coming out brown and all weird suspect. Oh, it's minerals. It's safe. So you continue to use the water, but then also at the same time, those people who are like, eh, yeah, no, diverting them to have to go rely on bottled water. <sighs> it's a fucking, it, I am sickened. <sighs> I am sickened. Yeah. By this country. By By countries like this country. Period. Who look at something like a, a freestanding source like water. 
as something to try to monopolize yeah. and weaponize. Yep. It just for the sake of making more money that you aren't even going to be alive to spend. Like, and your kids, kids, kids is not even going to be allowed to spend it because at uh, some point this shit is going to swallow us whole. Oh my God. It is though. And this is the shit I don't want to think about on shrooms. I should have <coughs> brought my shrooms. Damn. I actually have Let's some. talk. So if you actually do watch our show, at the beginning of the show, she never does shrooms. Mm-hmm. And it's just been a beautiful unraveling of my how times love. change, bitch. Because I'm a happy shroomer here now. I love it. I My only resistance to it was not knowing how I was going to react to it. Yeah. Like, like if, I don't know, am I subconsciously angry and then it's going to come out if I try shrooms? Like, I don't, I was just worried about shit like that, but. It's just been great. It just makes you makes your thoughts great. louder, and it does. And just it really feel, like sometimes I really feel like I just open up and I'm reading myself, like mm-hmm. literally like a book. And it's I like that type of thing. It puts me in a space of like where I'm very much conscious of like being in my body. Yeah, and everything that's happening outside of me is just like it's like I'm sitting inside of a movie. Yeah, and I'm the only one that knows it's a movie. <laughs> that's what it makes me feel like, especially yeah. at. The um, was that Edrington that sponsored Frank's house at Tails? Um, whatever house that was, uh, Highland, house. Pa- Highland Park. Highland Park. Yeah. There we go. Especially at the first night we went there, yeah. I literally just felt like I was just <laughs> in my body in a bubble no one could see, <laughs> just watching this movie happen, just, and I felt so great. Yeah, it was it was like something out of a nineties satirical no i love that flick it was great it reminded me of like all the fucking movies i loved in high school i think also like you you have successful trips when you know that the only thing you control is yourself yes you know oh god yes i was That's only the- responsible for myself yeah and i'm always you know feeling air responsibility right. for people i come with but i had my eyes on everybody yeah. okay i can count for where everybody is great back to being high yeah <laughs> like, like seriously it's, great. it's, 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 it's great. a cycle but you know you gotta do your check-ins because we're adults but it's yes. really great to just know, like, everything around you is just going to keep moving. And it's just, that's a greater lesson in life. Everything around you is just going to keep moving. Like, mm-hmm. that's it. This is delicious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Completely, we completely deviated from oh, okay. saying what we were tasting. <laughs> Definitely said cranberries and spice. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's giving cranberries and spice. Like. Bacon spices are heavy and this cinnamon is like, mm-hmm. like a pile of, not a pile, but like. As if I heavily sprinkled powdered cinnamon. It is so floral, though. I don't know mm. exactly. It's perfume. Oh, it's like perfumey almost. It's making my mouth water. It's like a bouquet of flowers. Like because I don't know how to pinpoint it to any one particular one. Like I can't exactly. say rose. I can't say exactly lavender. I feel like if I went it's and grabbed a things. bouquet of flowers out of Trader Joe's, it would be given this tarragon. Mm. I haven't had tarragon in a while, but for some reason, me neither. Not since like the fall. But I think it is. Mm. I think that's what I'm tasting. Mm. It's definitely got some herbaceousness, that's for sure. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Oh, man. Two in one is very, it's a very interesting expression of bourbon. But it's very different from like a Breckenridge. Right? Which is also Colorado bourbon. Like, just a whole different approach. It's so tasty. I'm so into it. It really is. All right, y'all. <laughs> We're, We're not, not bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clip right there. With it or not. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to. <laughs> let's just click on the Instagram post. Yes, chat. Let me just go let it. Go let it. Play. The most offensive thing somebody could tell me is that I'm black. But that's not what I am. I don't subscribe to that indoctrination. It's a subscription for me. Uh. I mean, African people come from Africa. Mm. So Chinese people come from China. Okay. Ain't no continent called black. Woo! That's so dumb. I'm I'm sorry. Right uh, shout out to the consciously. Do we want to go through it? Yep. Okay. So yep. Everybody got the power to subscribe to what you want to subscribe to. With that being uh, said, though. Yes. I got the power to critique what I want to critique, and this video is going to be critiqued, goddamn. <laughs> China is not a continent. Now, a lot of people that talk about First. this, they usually identify as Hebrew, Moor, or Aboriginal.
Aboriginal. They want to say that everybody that's black don't understand the code of law with this and that. But it's like you don't understand the differences between ethnicity, nationality, culture, race. You don't understand the differences between oh, those things. And to be clear, the notion of race, nationality, and ethnicity are all social constructs. In many different instances, you can recognize social constructs as it's saying social norms, different practices, customs, beliefs, and values that is socially understood or normalized, and that's how it becomes a construct. Like Peep Game, hip-hop, rap, trap music is a social construct that comes from the black community that's uniquely derived from the black struggle. I would argue mm. when you use black culture as a black tool to mobilize yourself and then you mm. distance yourself from blackness, you are then using it as fungibility or a fungible object. Fungibility. And just so we clear, this notion of black fungibility I'm talking about, it supersedes however you tell somebody how you identify. That's why when you go to places like China, there are many different instances of Haitians, Jamaicans, Americans, people from all over Africa being discriminated against and played because of the skin pigmentation. Period. This is what happens when you think too deeply about shallow shit. Sometimes you start to drown in your own shallow understanding. And just to be clear, mm. I subscribe to the multiplicity of blackness and black people. I recognize that we come in all ethnicities, all nationalities, all cultures, all sexualities, all classes, abilities too. And my final argument is that a lot of folks that repeat the things that Kevin Gates said in this video, you have an issue with seeing your own people and understanding blackness through the eyes of them folks. You see what I'm saying? Through ooh. the eyes of ooh, pale ooh, supremacy. Ooh. And guess what? I don't subscribe to that. That's why I critiqued it. But I'm sure many people will critique this video. <laughs> it is what it is. Education is elevation. I'm so It mad is what it is. That I'm not going to be able to see him. I know. I In Chicago. Up. Shout out to the Conscious Lee, bro. Man. Shout out to Drop him. Drop him like legend. I'm sorry. He's already a legend to me. Like, yeah. Him and that girl, Lene. Or, um, is that her name? Lene Z. I like her. Who's it? Oh, no. you got me here. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, she, oh, she just drops out too. Oh man, we have a lot. Mm -hmm. We're probably not gonna be able to get everything in, but yes, but uh, obviously no. <laughs> we'll be back. So obviously no. Okay. Obviously no. I'm definitely not with people fucking, especially publicly. Now have these dumbass conversations that deprive to your own damn dinner table or something. Don't bring this shit to a public forum and then oh, then had a nerve to be fucking. Stupid. Kevin Gates has been like, just ain't no kind of called black. <laughs> what? <laughs> there also is not a continent called China. <laughs> what the fuck? Bruh. Is this the most offensive thing you can call me is black? I'm That's like, the most offensive thing we could call you? Uh, uh, like you troglodyte? <laughs> that is what would offend you to be called black? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bitch, because uh, listen. If that's if that's the most offensive uh, or offensive, I can go Basically, my fucker call you just about anything. Oh, else. you like you like you love everything else. So if I call you a motherfucking porch monkey, that is not as bad <laughs> as me calling you Blake. <laughs> if I was just like you a pussy ass bitch ass nigga, you don't care about that. <laughs> it's the most offensive. <laughs> but being called black, but you scrapping off me calling you Blake. Oh, okay, all right, got it, got it, Kay. pussy nigga. No, so like. <laughs> It's just like, what are we talking about? <laughs> Why the fuck do you... It's, it, for me, it's just what he said mostly when he's talking about like you get to use this culture for something for you to make funds and shit. Like it's, but you don't want to subscribe to it. It's a subscription for me. Like, what? Because black people are the ones who listen to your music like and pay for your show well uh, Kelly no the, the no, whites be out there too I saw that video you're doing it. she was real hot and bothered so never mind we stand correct was that was she really so did they, I don't know if that was accurate if that was if she was I, looking at him there's no way because they only showed her side profile I just like there's no way they didn't show way. what she was looking at there's no way I just don't feel it could have like, been Blake Shelton on that stage and we won't bruh, even know we, that's what I'm you don't know anymore technology Cause it's just, two video really was, it's just two video clips. If she really was at that show, yo, shout out to that woman. That's hilarious. If you don't know what we're talking about, Kevin Gates was talking about. Was it the was it the, the was it the one? one where he was like humping yeah, on the stage and doing all the extra I shit? When I beat your ass, some I, shit. I, think, I don't know. Slapping and shit. He was doing. He was when doing I a lot. Something, something. It did not look fuckable. I, I don't. I, guess, I don't much. think. Honestly, if I would think anybody fucks like an animal, I'm pretty sure Kevin Gates does. 
Probably, but it's completely. It didn't look enjoyable. Ugh, no, nasty, nasty. No, uh, but we don't know. Look, all I know is black people support your shit. So yeah. you need to watch the messaging that you're putting out there. But then again, you are also okay with cussing fucking. So ah, uh, never yeah. mind. Yeah, your your barometer of what's appropriate <laughs> and what's not is just different from <laughs> from ours. Yeah, and but like consciously said. It is what it is. <sighs> With your whack ass. And I just won't subscribe <laughs> to no bitch ass name. Uh, uh, name Kevin Gates. No, I'm not. <laughs> My subscription is not going there. The fuck? Cute. Subscribe. I don't listen to this music like that anyway. I don't so, even know what his songs are off the top of my head. I like, the joke he on, I like uh, his feature on Rennie Rucci song. First off, Rennie But Rucci's I like Rennie Rucci. Awesome. Yeah, she's from great. Um, I'm just like... <laughs> He's just dumb, though. Why does he keep saying such dumb he shit? He says a lot of really ignorant he shit. He just But is like... he also represents, like, a boosie. Like, he represents a segment of people that are very real, who very much it's think so the true. same way. It's so true. It's so sad. Y'all can have each other. Y'all show sure can. Y'all show sure can. Y'all can have each other. But just know it's, it's chains and shackles that y'all are in. And I'm sorry. Oh my God, yes. And I'm sorry. Um, mm. What's up with this? Ooh. What's up with Kanye West's beard? Okay. Is it new? Has he never had a beard? It's new. Oh shit! I ain't never seen Kanye West with a beard this thick. It's a lot. It's a thick. It's beard. a lot. And for those on the tube, y'all will see what we're talking about. But next on the list of what it or not is Kanye West's beard. Okay, because I'm still personally trying to decide if I'm with it or not. One hand, it's like you're a billionaire. Who gives a fuck, right? You're giving. You're very much giving. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? He always does. With your fucking thong flip flops with socks on and oh, your that. scruff McGruff beard. I guess I'm not mad at it. I think I would like it better if it was just packaged a little differently. Like, I'm kind of sick of him wearing all the anti clothing, like the long trench coats and the weird masks and the fucking thing that covers your entire face and like, the big, big gloves yeah. and the. Fu- like, I'm kind of over that. Not everyone is thinking it's appropriate to just casually dress this way. Yeah. And it's scary. I, I do miss Kanye in a good suit. In a good suit. Yeah. And, I mean, just nice even in your own Yeezy clothing. Yeah. I could go with that. You're not even wearing that. You've just Comfy. moved on so far into the literal Matrix. Maybe like that. B- like bringing back the fucking, I don't even remember the character's name in the Matrix because I've never seen it. But bringing back <laughs> the trench coats and the dark shades is just a lot. <laughs> I'm kind of ready for it. And then on top of that, the beard. Neo so it's Trinity. just like, there we go. Neo, that's his name? Yeah. That's what I was thinking of in my head. That's the white guy, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, I, was, <laughs> I was thinking of him with this fucking trench and this oh fucking goodness. hoodie. But of course. But not in a good way. Not in a good way. Campbell, like, not in a good way. Because the Matrix had balance. really, honestly, for me, I feel like the Matrix um did a thing for people to fashion black in such a way. Yes. Then they look fashionable. He just, He's, I don't know. This looks like he got this coat at like Kmart. Like at Burlington or something. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I know it's probably as food as fuck, but that's how it looks. A little too tight, man's making it scrunch a little much. It's just the packaging. But it's just I'm, like, I'm what, what the beard, but what actually is tied wardrobe. around it? Why does it look like there's another jacket it's like on top of this? like a belt around the jacket, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. It's like... It looks like there's looks another like, okay. jacket. It looks like he has another jacket tied around <laughs> the jacket he's wearing like, in what? addition to the hoodie. Okay. Oh, my God. That is a lot. Okay. That is a lot now. I just... And I'm not going to crack a bunch of jokes because people was cracking jokes. They on, was? Uh, what they no, 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 no. Not on him. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling people was cracking jokes on um, Chadwick Boseman and it really he had something going on. So, because they were talking That's about his clothes true. fit big and all this other stuff. Well, yeah, well, we so, found out. That and then we found did. out that there was a reason for that. Yeah. So, I'm not going to make too many jokes. I just want to see it packaged a little differently, this beard. Okay. okay. That's it. That's real. That's it. I think that's, that's fair. I think that's fair. Yeah. As somebody who supports your brand. That's real. You know, oh, Kanye, yeah, I hope you're doing like, all right, man. I don't know if he's just still, I think he's heartbroken still about Kim. I would say no. I do love the dream move that he did buy a house right next to their house to see his kids. across the street. Bitch. Love it across the street. I'm gonna see my kids. I am very, 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 very proud to say that I am proud of Kanye for being adamant to make About sure that the motherfucking father. Kardashians did not take his kids away. Yeah, 
You know, For like sure. I don't know why I try like that shit in a heartbeat. A baby factory, they're really weird. Me Not out really about a little kids, baby factory, but I'm very happy that he is adamant. To be in their lives. I don't care if he's crazy or not. He needs to be like, I'm just happy he's around. I'm sorry. Speaking of baby factory, did you see that Chloe had another baby with Tristan? What are they doing? Why are they having the surrogates? Oh, also, then it'd be the surrogates too, because you could just pay. You could, they could just pay people. I don't know. That family, so it's, I don't. I and am this not was a fan like the at the same song. time as him having a baby with someone else behind her back. I am not. She a apparently, fan. they apparently did the implementation of the embryo right before it came out about this other bitch having a baby. He knew, but he didn't tell Chloe. He just let her go ahead and put the embryo in the surrogate and create this child and waited for it to come out via the blogs. Sorry, who? Who's the, who's the guy name again? Tristan. Tristan who? Thompson. Why do I know him? Because he is famous <coughs> for, for regularly cheating on Khloe Kardashian. <laughs> One of the more famous <laughs> Trists of Tristan's oh my God, was the situation it? with Jordan Woods. And they tried to massacre her until she came to Red Table Talk with uh, God Mommy Jada <laughs> yeah. and said her piece. Oh and then wound up with this really cute ass basketball boyfriend, so who apparently is faithful from what we can tell. So the irony there. Um, <laughs> but he's really not known for anything else. Wow. Other than being easy to set up and trap, because he calls for the bait every time. That's crazy. For being extra corny and with Khloe Kardashian okay. and constantly cheating on her and having babies on her for years and for years. Um, he I mean, cheated in the midst of her being pregnant with the first child. Um, at, at this point, point it's I an think agreement. He was cheating on her. Wife. It's an agreement. At this at point, this point um, yeah, fuck it. This is good for us. Uh, this is great for our publicity. I guess she's she signed up <laughs> to stay with with that within that or whatever. So which one's Chloe? Chloe is she's actually my fave of the three. The, the, the most chill one, right? The most chill I, one, yes. But. Her tolerance for bullshit is like unmatched. I just can't even. I can't even. And she's a cancer. One thing I do know, I think the Kardashians definitely love their kids. Oh, for sure. You know, I I think they really love their kids, but it's just weird that they just want to pop something. I mean, their mom had what six. Then they joined families with Bruce, who also had like six. So they're used to that big, big ass family, family like a shit. fucking yeah. 20, 30 motherfucking <laughs> like immediate family. <laughs> like, just doing the most That's for real, every though. holiday. People do have me- big ass immediate families. I do it's not. It's two kids max for me. I'm kind of okay with just one. <laughs> like I'm kind of okay with just one. I grew up with a child and I kind of liked it. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Like uh, That's a lot. I get it. You kind of have built in friends for the rest of your life. But maybe it just depends. Exactly. Maybe not every sibling relationship winds up being the most harmonious. It really don't. So be like that. I don't feel like rolling dice on all that. I'm good. Oh uh, yeah, no. I'm good with my one one personality to navigate. I'm not a fan. Of one. So I'm sorry. <laughs> one cause to wish it. They do what they need to do. They're definitely getting their money. They can. Ain't bad. nothing I'm gonna say. Go change. And they that. put them kids to work. Early. So talk about the Kardashians though. Tell me, run me through this Ray J drama. Bitch. Okay. <laughs> And why is he saying okay, anything wait. now? Let's do our third sip and then get into that. Okay. okay. Yeah. So we're going to do our third sip, y'all. Because once we get on the tangent, we be forgetting. Right. That's true. So we're going to do a 291 Small Batch Colorado Rye Whiskey. Okay. So a mash bill similar to the founder's all-time favorite rye whiskeys, distilled grain in the glass and finished with the help of deep charred American white oak barrels. Okay. okay. 101.7 proof on this one. So we're back down the spectrum. You can tell. Ooh, it's it's a lot less like, heat on the nose than the single barrel. It's like a fruit punch happening here. There's definitely it is definitely some a, a fruit medley happening. Yeah. Kind of some apples, some pineapple. Mm-hmm. And you know what? I'm kind of like a and peach. Not a fully ripe pineapple because I'm getting some oh, of yeah, that no. green too. Absolutely. Definitely peach. peach now ripe like peach, like prevalent, like the whoa. flesh. Yeah. Ooh, that's nice. It's very peachy. That is really nice to get from a rye of all things. That is true. Yeah. Okay, two nine one. This is a really fruity nose. I love that. Mm-hmm. It 
goes fruit and then the smoke. Mm-hmm. I like it. It goes right into the smoke. And, and that smoke the lingers. Yes, the rye. It's not giving spicy like you'd expect from a rye. So I'm curious right. on the mash bill. They don't share. But Ooh, so. We're getting up. Are we already, oh, tasting. Um, definitely fruit. <laughs> oh, tasting. Fruit to smoke. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was fruit and then smoke for me. But let me try to figure out which fruits. No, was, oh, that's what I was saying. The smoke lingers on the palate for mm. sure. It's throughout the entire finish. It's not super spicy. Mm-mm. Mm. Mm. I get like you what it's delicious. Lemon, orange. Mm-hmm. Wow. Something kind of like I don't know if that's a grape, but mm. like purple grape? It's almost like grape concentrate. Like mm. if I was having a grape flavored something. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Mm. Mm. That is th- that's rye. Mm-hmm. It's rye. Wow. It don't drink like your average rye. No, no, no. Mm. That's really tasty. That's what's so cool about 291. That's why it's one of those brands like you either love it or you're like confused by it. (laughs) Yeah, that's true. Mm, It's so so fruity. Wow. Mm. Definitely, like honestly, the fruit on it, if I had to blind taste, I probably would have called a a brandy there. Mm, you know? like, a, like an aged brand. I wouldn't. I don't think I would have gone right. I was def- even in texture almost. Yeah, like everything that about the mouth feel. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it would have gone. Good point. Brandy, probably American brandy, but yeah, definitely brandy. Mm. Crazy. That's such a good one. Yeah. Okay. Into the mess. <laughs> okay. Ray J. Child. Okay, so we all know about the sex tape. Yeah, years ago. That years decade, ago. Right. So yes, well over a decade at this point. Because I was in high school when it came out. So, um, yeah, because the Kardashian show dropped the year I graduated high school and went into college. Wow. I remember that vividly. It was 2009. Wow. And I just remember thinking how horrible their makeup was. <laughs> was like, why I was like everybody's makeup was horrible. Why is their sex tape so popular? So, <laughs> and we were on the school bus looking at it. that shit. We were on the school bus looking at that shit. I haven't seen that, and I still haven't seen Two Girls, One Cup. You even, I'm never watching that ever in my life. <laughs> Why, in God's name, anybody finds that entertaining and not completely <laughs> nauseating is beyond me. I can't. The poop, the, the, I can't. Mm-mm. So. Mm-mm. 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 I just chills up my spine. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I had to read oh, it up. Oh, God. Did you God. see it? No. Oh. But I saw a clip, and I was like, ah! I had, I had to close my eyes because I was like, just never. I haven't even seen a clip, man. It just blew my mind Sorry. that anyone would put them type of things in their mouth. Bruh. Like, <laughs> that's next level. Listen. Listen. But you ain't missing nothing with the with the Ray J. Kardashian sex table. It's very boring. Yeah. <laughs> but so all of this stuff starts to unfold as of this year, actually, because okay. there was a, um, there was a, uh, Interview that WAC 100 did with Jason Lee. You know, I love Jason Lee. Yeah. So he did a, a interview with Jason Lee and had made a joke, made a remark about there being a second tape uh-huh. to this whole Ray J Kim sex tape. Uh-huh. And that he has the tape. Okay. And so. That he has the tape? Oh, like a Because media he made, he's Ray J's manager. Right. So basically. Jason Lee is? No, 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 no. Oh. WAC 100. Okay, okay, is. I guess, 100. I guess, I guess. He managed like Blueface, Ray J, the games, and that's yeah. people, I guess. Um, but he the manager joke. said this. He made he said, a joke. Why well, says anything out of his mouth though? Like he says anything out of his mouth. Oh, it's not like a Wody. We all need Wodies. <laughs> you got what tape? He's not like a Wody. He runs his mouth. Fuck so no. it that goes viral. Yeah, and it starts all this conversation again about this sex tape. So fast forward, Kim is now using this as a part of her storyline in the Kardashians. And there's this dramatic the episode. Yes, I thought the show was over. There, it's on Hulu. It went from um, from ETV to Hulu. You know they're not done being on TV. <laughs> <laughs> they're already on the second season, bitch. That's how I found out that her and Tristan had that Chloe and Tristan had a baby via surrogate. Oh my god! They saved gosh. it all for the show. Oh my god! So now there's this dramatic episode on the Kardashians on Hulu. <laughs> Where Kanye shows up to her, uh, something in New York, I think Kim was doing, shows up from the red eye or whatever, you know, the dramatics of it all, with this hard drive, this big ass fucking hard drive, 
that apparently has the sex tape on it. The second video. Kanye shows up with this? Yes, because apparently he flew out to Ray J to get it from him, himself. This is so traumatic. Now, from Ray J's perspective, he had no clue that when Kanye was reaching out to him about getting this hard drive or whatever, that it was going to turn around and be some thing on the show. Though he should have assumed. Because what isn't a thing on the show? Yeah, they're like... But he didn't think that. And so (laughs) when it starts this whole conversation back up, he's now framed to be this shady guy who's like hovering this tape over Kim's head, and that's not the case. Of course it's not. And so... He should have got mad bread if that was the case. A long time ago. If that was if that was the case, he would have been making money, and he still they still both make money off that tape to this day. <laughs> <Yeah>. But <laughs> it's because it has all come out now that this was a planned thing from the beginning, and that Chris Jenner not only orchestrated and facilitated said thing, said sex but, tape, yes. It was giving notes Chris on Jenner, the mother? Kim's angles not being right and needing to redo this and redo that. So, Wait, here's is how Chris Jenner the mom? Here's yes. Here's how it unfolds. Because she there was diabolical. Com- so we have been joking. The black community. We don't say we. I mean, the black community has been joking forever that Chris has something to do with that tape. We've all been joking about it, but because of this whole conversation sparking back up with the whole Kardashian the episode and all that and drama on a hard drive and all that. Um, she actually goes as far as to take a lie detector test with some guy who's never, who's not a certified, um, well, then it don't matter. And is known to be a fraud, but she takes a lie detector test with this fool and it comes out or whatever. She takes a lie detector test and of course was asked, was she involved in sex tape? She says, no, apparently she's telling the truth. All this. Okay. Whatever. So Ray J's like, oh, okay, wait a goddamn minute. Now I'd have been real quiet about this fucking tape. I even let y'all get away with this shit y'all did on Hulu with Kanye West and all the dramatics. But now for her to come out and say she took a lie detector test and say that she wasn't involved is to then turn around and directly say that I'm lying about the fact that she was involved and that's not the case. So he does this long ass Instagram live airing out everything. Like he's showing Proof of contracts that they had to sign, literally referencing in Kim's handwriting the different scenes where they're going to be fucking or whatever, and like all this shit. Text messages from Chris saying we got to redo this, the angle's not right, whatever, whatever. Bitch, he's airing it all out. On fucking Instagram Live. <laughs> He's pulling up old DMs. I mean, everything. So they had to fuck multiple times. Mm-hmm. They had to record. I mean, multiple. like, they were fucking, but, like, they had, they to, had record to record. They had to record multiple shots. Yeah. Multiple, like, particular shots multiple times. And they already had a contract with Vivid or whoever it is that distributes these sex tapes and stuff. Like, they still make bread off that drink. He said they still make good money from that. Like... But what he was like, what you're not going to do is try to villainize me as if I, like, did something predatory in this. Like, right. When y'all brought this shit to me. Right. <laughs> like, I signed the contracts and all that. Yeah, I was young and dumb and I didn't have kids and all this. Like, but I let y'all get away with saying so much. Right. Like, y'all not going to keep doing this to me. Like, any chance y'all get to break down a black man, y'all take it. Not oh, absolutely. Know. That is oh, definitely. I think I, I think I locked your top lock. Okay. Um. Yeah. But yeah, oh, that thing he's on anyway, so. Uh, but bitch, yes. So, Child. Ray J spilled the entire kettle pot of tea and said, fuck it. Oh, the- so, bitch. That is <sighs> so insane. It really is. Like, because, I mean, it's it's not and it is, if that makes any sense. It's not surprising. It's not surprising Because at they all. do this with every man in their orbit. <laughs> Dude, like so it's like have you watched when the they're great? done with you they're done with you you said great the great on hulu no i've seen it pop up as a suggestion i before it. i went to columbia bow, 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 bow. i'll tell you what ray j we support you Ooh, over here okay. at the soul palette podcast we support you i don't believe that you were being predatory shantae is in the hands because <laughs> we still recorded, bitch. Oh, okay. 
goodness gracious. <laughs> Look, I'm only chopping, but so much. So this is y'all just gonna get what it is today. Yeah, raw, and raw, 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 and uncut. Ooh, we're recording something. Who's these people? Oh, it's in our group. Okay, oh, you know, okay. it would have been okay. <laughs> but, yes. Raw, raw. So, but yes, like, they wow. utilize all the men in their orbit. Well, That's no, not even crazy. just all the men because when they were done with Jordan Woods, they decided to villainize the fuck out of her ring her out like a rag and try to throw her back into the street like is there a list of like the men that they've gone through is someone keeping up there's someone out there keeping up for sure come through come through get you a glass (laughs) 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 Uh, it's the hop for me yes um but is she it let's see i don't even know i don't know the extent of their dating lives everybody always concentrates on kim's and Chloe's in particular, they all go. They've gone through, but they've gone through. Everybody's a lot gone through. Of black men, Ooh. a lot of. <laughs> I was gonna say something real. Meanwhile, rude, and Courtney I'm not... has been quietly just going through a lot of white men. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet as a because she doesn't like really? to be. Record. She because she's not like she don't date around. Like she don't have yeah. her fun. She just don't like to keep make it a part of the show. Okay, okay. And she's they all. She's always been ridiculed for being the most secretive about her life. When it Courtney, comes to being on the show. Is, does she do like the least amount of work on her face? Yes. Okay. And according to... <laughs> that's so funny that you worded it that way. Because <laughs> Kim's main critique of Courtney is that she does the least amount of work, period. Oh, shit. So whether that Damn. is work on her face and body, whether that <laughs> is work on the show, whether that is work on any of their joint ventures. Can you imagine that family pressure? No. I would be pissed. It's so I brought up, so the reason why I brought up The Great, this is why I brought it up. So The Great, if you haven't seen it, it's on Hulu. Mm-hmm. It's a comedy, but it feels very fucking real. It's a comedy about um, uh, Catherine The Great, mm-hmm. who was a French woman, I believe she was a French woman, um, who was pretty much like kind of sold off to marry the Russian emperor. Mm-hmm. Emperor to be the empress mm-hmm. she thought it was gonna be like beautiful and like she's gonna fall in love and they like, loved it finds out this guy this man is stupid and horrible and just literally just what men were and are still which is just savagery so everything is just about fucking hunting and war mm-hmm. um and so but it's all comedy it was written really well i didn't think i was going i binge watched two seasons in like two days or three something like that um like right before because i had so much time before i went to columbia because i had just got off work to go into my weekend my sunday monday tuesday mm-hmm. and i just watched it the whole time Catherine's mother strategically planned for her daughters to be married off to the five great european nations or five i think it was four or five to england mm-hmm. to the king or the prince to become king to louis in france or maybe they were from um I can't remember. God, where were they from? They're from Germany. They're from Germany. From the German, whoever, to Russia's um, shit, and then Spain. To be sold at that time was like 18 something. Sold. I say sold with like bargain to like Mm -hmm. her daughters are the best daughters to have, Mm -hmm. to wed, to give you heirs Mm -hmm. type shit. And so it. When we talk about Kris Jenner, I just keep playing this woman's role in my head because she's also manipulative as fuck. Like, you know, like, it's like telling Catherine. So Catherine ends up trying to overthrow the emperor Mm. and become the empress and take over Russia. And like, you know, she's like trying to bring in like science and all this stuff because at the time Russia was literally just about church. And it was, it was, it's a really cool. Yeah, it was giving really cool. It was a really cool show. But her mother is like, what are you doing? You ruined <laughs> your sister's chance to marry Louis because you overthrew your husband. And now they think well, that bitch. the whole family is about to just be overthrowing is is trying to overthrow, like marry in and overthrow, and overthrow which looks these- bad. And now we're going to lose our money. Pretty much the mom's trying to be rich. So when you say these Kris Jenner things, it's like literally Kris Jenner's business are her fucking are her daughters. Kids. Her yeah. kids. I don't know if there's any sons. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's one boy. Rob. Damn, that's crazy. Who I hope he's okay. Um, right. <laughs> I think he's the least in the public eye. He's probably all right. That's good. 
Because I definitely would be right. like, y'all, I gotta see y'all later. It's a lot. But I, I mean, only... that shit drove him to be to get fat. I, yeah. I think it's best that he stays about that. Right. I I just like I just can only imagine the pressures to like have to have some TV time, have to be recorded here. You have to show your have personal to show, life. There's have pressure to pressure if you don't show your personal. Put my body this way. How many posts am I gonna make in a day? Like it's just like it's just it's a lot. It's a lot. So for you to say I'm not doing that much work, fuck you. <laughs> they got into a whole actual slap fight about it. That shit was so funny. Oh. <laughs> the funniest Marco fight I ever seen in my life <laughs> was Kim and Courtney Kardashian. Uh, that shit it will go in the Hall of Fame of best TV fights. Oh my gosh. They, she Kim smacked the shit out of Courtney. That shit was you're wild. Not gonna be, you're not going to be fucking slapping me, bro. Like, it was a very, it was a slap hurt around the world. <laughs> that motherfucker made contact. Oh my god, for I, real? It was not playing. Oh my god. They were not playing. Hold on, I should try to look it up. Oh, please we're do. That's about crazy. It. Oh my goodness. Kim. Wow. <laughs> but like, they in their own ways are like a civilization of like royalty, if that makes any sense. Like, yeah, the they're they considered about, royalty. Yeah, the way they, they really go are. about their lives is like how royals would live life. Like, it's crazy. I can only imagine what it is on the other side Girl. of what they're doing. Like, <laughs> Not top 20 fights. I just want to see we just want the one. The one just joint. the one. Okay, hold on about the <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to share the YouTube link for yes. the tubers, y'all, because I'm not going to show this one on the drink because YouTube will probably snatch it. True. Probably. Because it, uh, it belongs to E. So. Oh, true, true, um, true. Yeah, yeah. So I can play the audio, but I can't... Uh, Bitch, but if you know, you know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Show us the thing. I don't need you to. Girl, Courtney. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like Courtney. Period. Period. Though, not feel that. I didn't need y'all commentating. You literal whatever the fuck she said. First of all. Kim is judgy when it comes to the work. No, no. I'm sorry. What? I'm not trying to have none of that shit. Yeah. We asked about the fucking... You're supposed to be showing it. Oh, baited. my God. We just got baited into some bullshit. Like shit. That's okay. I'm going to find the real it's fine. one. But um, it, but I pretty much kind of saw it. But... Ciao. Wow. They have a whole show. It's ridiculous. A whole show. A whole fucking show about their lives, and it just never stops. Let me turn the sound down on this first. Let me see. Are no. we going to our fourth sip? Yes, we're going to do our fourth sip. Well, we so Ray J. this fucking... Anyway, Ray J, we stand with you. Yeah, I hope you get, you know, what you deserve out of that for sure. Yeah, but at least also, just clear because I really just think he cares to make sure the story's out also, there so his daughter doesn't think he's a creep. Oh, sadly. Um <laughs> Exactly. If you're going to mess with the Kardashians, you should probably already know what you're getting the fuck in for. I think Ray J was kind of like the first like major kind of move for Kim, maybe. Um, I think. Oh yeah, because Reggie Bush was after. So yeah. Also, there was some like music guys she like got married to and then got it annulled right after. Hmm. Uh, well, I can't remember his name. He is like still grasping for his relevance. Uh, I um, know they man eating for sure. Like shit. Man eating nom, nom. on chomp, chomp. the floor. <laughs> <laughs> eating them up. Number four, number four. Damn, number four smells amazing. Okay, so Zay of uh, Fred Minute. Wait, Shantae, get you a glass. Pour you a glass. Yes, Hold get on. you a glass, girl. Let's <laughs> <Wow. laughs> That's great. You do your thing. Yeah. Um, yes. So fourth sip is a 291 single barrel select. Okay. And this is barrel number FM1. This is a Fred Minnick pick. Another one coming in at barrel proof, so 128.5. Okay. 
already very fruity and almost like a cookie on the nose. It does smell like a cookie for sure. An oatmeal cookie at that. Mm, it's great going. Co- oatmeal cookie. Mm. Or That's even a good like one. a uh, what are the lemon ones? Ooh, like the um lemon sugar cookie maybe or like a <sighs> what like a lemon meringue cookie? Not meringue per se. There's just like lemon in it. If that makes sense. Oh, I know what you mean. Do you mean like those those lemon ones that come in like the squares or like the crunchy ones? Yes. I know what you're of, talking yes. about. I don't know the name of them, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Because I can smell I that, can think right? of that smell, yeah. Mm-hmm. If anyone's mm-hmm. got the name of that for us, comment it. Please. <laughs> Literally <laughs> engage. Jesus. Engage. We stay getting listens and views, but don't mind me comment and shit. What's, what's wrong? Y'all, y'all shy? Is, I, is y'all shy or whatever? Ooh. Ha. Which one you want? Four. You want number three? Three. Oh, you want number three? <laughs> like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you just said shit. I wish I would have just saw Shantae's face, though. She's like, you know, one of them bottles over there. <laughs> one of them bottles over there. Shantae. Shantae don't live up Shanty. here no more, if y'all didn't know. No, she's a Texan now. Yeah, he's, she Texan now. For real, for real. Oh, Houston, Shawty. Ah! Yeah. She said, "Well, she it's forgot." Warm. Wanna drop some water in it? Get a little drop, drippy drop. drop. drop, drop. Um, you. I like when we have people around for the show. I'm not gonna lie. Yes, it's nice. It's Ooh, nice. Well, that water immediately brought out with cherry. Mm. <laughs> oh, yes, it did for me. Please, thank you. It did. It brought it out immediately on the nose. Brown sugar. Mm-hmm. Still doing that chair. Like, ooh, there's definitely, like, cookie. Sugar it's cookie. cookie. It's cookie. There's definitely some sort of some cookie. dough. Like, you get that, like, sweet dough kind of yeah, feel. Yeah, sweet dough. That's so accurate. Mm. 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 Water mm. made that so nice. Mm-hmm. It calmed down those tannins a little bit. It did. There's definitely some spice happening. It's more spice in this than there was in the rye. It, it's on like an outer parts of my tongue. And then right. Certain parts of my, yeah. Mm. Certain parts of my tongue feel a sensation that the other parts don't. Right? That's interesting. Very. It's missing parts. It's like, <laughs> I don't know how to. Halfway up my tongue, I feel yeah. stuff. And then on the sides. I'm trying to get the actual nose though, because I, you know, tongue feeling is not going to Yeah, right now the texture is kind of distracting <laughs> me from the From notes. tasting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. Mm. I get dry mm-hmm. cacao for sure. Yeah. I get um. It's hot. Yeah. The heat is there. More it's cinnamon. Hot, it's still nice. It's almost giving big red cinnamon, but not quite the gum. Right. Like just the type of cinnamon just that you that use type for the of gum. Cinnamon. Yeah. That makes any sense. And that that sensation where it's like acidic oh, yeah. and making your mouth water. Mm. I love that. It's good. Yeah. Good old Fred. Good old Fred. That's that Fred. palette we trust. Good old Fred. You know what? <laughs> we're, doing, we're doing okay. Let's get into this conversation. Are we going to get into... You want to get into that conversation? Maybe I we should like save it for the next I one. I think we should save it for the next one. Okay. So we got a good one. Yeah, dive into it. Because we got okay, a good yeah. one. Yeah. We don't want to yeah. just rush through it with y'all. Yeah, we no, no, no. We to be able to really, you know... Get to it. Yeah, you're right. Next time, next so time. So let's talk about Rihanna. And then we'll get into where we eat. Rihanna is Performing. going to yeah, yeah. at the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Like, out of nowhere. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. Rihanna's at the Super Bowl. Right it's going to be iconic it's as fuck. It's iconic. It's like, random. It's going to be amazing to see how many people buy Super Bowl tickets just to see Rihanna perform at halftime. I mean, it's going to be amazing to see how many views tune in. Oh, I will be tuned in. Because... I we haven't heard Super Bowl party this year. Literally, she had a baby and she disappeared. She went to go raise her child. Mm-hmm. She was like, quiet. Been dropping this, these motherfucking Savage Fenty releases. Been dropping boom, these motherfucking. Boom. You know what? what? She like yes, yeah, she's definitely a part of that. But like, there's a whole team that do that. So like, the bitch has been all living she has to her do life. Is be the face. 
Oh man, that's it. I love her so and much. And collect a, a collect a motherfucking coin and fuck on her I man. I really love Rihanna, and you know it's so funny because do you remember the shit talking about her first? Come, Mr. DJ, come on, my name, like I'm Mr. DJ, with the turn of music up. That's my shit. First of all, don't do that. But did we know that she was going to be one of the most iconic? People she of did our like lifetime? she did a year or two of the do what the label wants make the make the radio song somehow someone she's one of the ones that and like, then she just broke out she just hit the swerve yeah I yeah. think also maybe let's attribute some of that to Rockefeller because maybe being mm-hmm. managed by Jay kind of gives you a certain level of artistic freedom that I some still other to this day circumstances want to know, may not but I want to know the intricacies of the whole beginnings and that I do too really we need bad. a Rihanna documentary I feel like it's inevitable that I it'll come out probably, at some point probably not I'm sure it's years. already being worked on just like Kanye just popped oh, yeah. up with this fucking three part series or whatever I'm surprised Kanye's came out so so early he's definitely gonna have more I think he was I was gonna say it's gonna be more it's definitely gonna, it's be, gonna be more, more. Yeah, and I don't like, think it's early I yeah. think it came out at a perfect time when it had just been getting so out of hand with with yeah, you're the right. internet not humanizing Kanye yeah and society feeling this need to dehumanize Kanye and forget about the actual genius oh he's a genius but people forget about that. No, he's, and he's try a to complete just, genius. You know, brush it off as oh, he's crazy. He's this. He's that. No, no, whatever. no. He's, he's, you know how many doesn't fucking live on our planet. Co- doesn't live on our planet. No, Kanye does not. Him live and his beard yeah. and his trench wrapped in a trench <laughs> are not <laughs> from this planet. And I respect it. I do. <laughs> it's the trench. <laughs> I'm so I'm so thrown by the trench wrapped in the trench oh, with the hoodie with the beard. <laughs> Uh, I hate this shit. <laughs> but you love it. I want to laugh so hard. I'm just gonna. It's gonna be nasty. I'm gonna be like, oh, that bitch. <laughs> tell, tell her to stop. <laughs> Say something sad. Say something. Sad. Get her out of there. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, bitch. Oh, oh trench wrapped in a trench. Another planet. With, where we are gonna have a hoodie undershirt. With a hoodie undershirt. <laughs> bitch. Uh, you know it was dripping sweat under there. It had to be. Oh. Come on now. I'm never trying to wear something to purposely sweat. I'm not. Oh, I do, but that's when I'm purposely working out to sweat. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm not. You can... I, I have one of those sauna suit things that you wear oh. when you're working out. I, I, so I don't but sweat I like easily. hot yoga too, though. So True. I like to sweat when I'm working out. I don't like... sweat easily. You know, uh, for a while, sweat hurt. Like, mm. to sweat hurts. Like even little, oh, like even if I get a little salt. moist, yeah, it's oh. salt. And then if you, yeah, so I'm okay, you know. <laughs> well, you Unless good I'm doing now, bro. You good for a little sweatiness now. You yeah, good? Yeah, I mean, yes, I'm doing something fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'll sweat, fuck it, you know, dancing or other things. Um, but I'm not trying to put nothing on that's trying to make me hot, hot. I'm not. Even in the winter time, even in the winter time, I'm putting a coat. Over top of my lace. Over, over top of something <laughs> real, breezy. real breezy. Real breezy. Real breezy. I got to make it to my venue and that's it. <laughs> and that's why I feel Monica. Okay, her sister Monica. Oh my God, Monica the window pants. You okay. listen. If you catch her in a pair of leggings, it's because she went to the gym. Listen. She's always wearing a dress, a skirt. Listen. A, some variation. Of, I... She Child. doesn't know how much I look up to that bitch. The titties is gonna be titty. Yeah, the ass is gonna be ass. Oh, it's beautiful, the long be legs. Mm-hmm. And she's just gonna be out her coat, and then she don't do big coats. She got like a bubble coat, I think. We need to bring but Monica then the on. The rest be jackets. We should bring Monica. We gotta on. bring Monica. On. Well, that would be so. That would be great. great. I really want to talk to her because I really want to talk to you all about your beginnings. Fun. Which I don't okay. know, you okay. know, like like yes. details. I know that like for all your life. Yeah. But like for me, it's like when did she start dressing for them T unit days? Like when she was a child. Like when no, is this? She, okay, so as a child, no, actually, which right. is the funny part. So I have to let her tell it. But okay, cool. Yes, we'll okay, bring we it back. We'll bring Monica it back. On. That'd yes. be great. That'd be great. I want her best friend on too, Kia. She's great. She has her. Own oh my god, best. Kia is Kia great. Is great. We can do that. Let's yeah. do it. I've been <laughs> trying to think about four people. Look damn fourth, Mike, but it's okay. I know. Um. We might three. have to change the venue. Who knows? No, we could do that. Enough. I'm going to be um, joining the gathering spot, which is this like. Okay. You did uh, say you're going to do is it. Is it a country? I don't know if it's called a country it's club. It's a membership club. It's a social club. We'll call yeah, it. Yeah. Membership. Um, base place. Yeah. I decided I'm going to. I'm not start my membership till December though because I'm traveling the next two months. Mm-hmm. So. Um, but I decided I did my little interview, whatever they invited me to join. So I am going to join. But they have a podcast room there. 
It's two hundred dollars a a month, right? No, yes, two hundred a month mm. for membership. Over thirty. I don't understand. As I get older, there's supposed to be perks. You're not supposed to be penalizing me, gathering spot, for being thirty and over. What's the tea? Well, you you get them when they're young, and then they're there with you forever. And then they when they turn thirty, get that huh, boop boop, pay me more. Let's see, Mm-mm. and you had to grandfather me into my price if I was no. That's real. That's mm-hmm. actually real as fuck. But we're gonna see. I'm doing a month to month to see if I if I really love it. Oh, cool. Um, but they have a podcast room. Nice, and it is an hourly, but it's not bad. Um, considering the time frame, I ain't saying all that on the right, camera, right, right, but, right, 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 right. Um, it's not bad considering. Okay. Um, so I definitely I want to bring you anyway when yeah. I do start going. It will just like yeah. Do you, out, you get plus see. ones or do I have to also go through? A I'm, fucking... a, I'm able to have up to three guests. Oh, perfect. So because yes. I'm not doing it. Yes, but you're gonna come and network with me. And we I'm down to be you, there find as you a little, plus find one. Find a little boo who can afford two hundred plus a month. <sighs> I just feel like in the more people clubs. I talk to with money, the worse they are. Not always. Not, Not always. always. It comes to the Sometimes Few they'll let it come with a little corniness. Sometimes it might come with a little corn bull. A little corn bull. I always um, have to like hold my eyes. But you can back and work with corny as long as you're not a complete square ah it's so hard to find it honestly though honestly <laughs> i was laughing at myself the other day because there are literal men constantly shooting shots and i'm always i naturally somehow am shooting these motherfuckers down like <laughs> and, 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 and like not it's just feeling it it's not even that it's like i haven't even got which i can't wait we're next week we'll talk about radical acceptance yes. i'm really like yes. i'm like my acceptance walls in that area are not open like a bitch is just like there's a chef at Michelle's and he's been constantly like one night I wore a dress he's like was like you know hey like you know you're looking really great in that dress da 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 mm-hmm. I said well Chris you told me you're gonna take me on a, a date at, for free at Michelle's what are we gonna do that you talking about my dress when you gonna ask me for my number and then I walked off <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? That is. Yeah. What, did you say thank you? Oh and I can't God. remember if I said thank you or not. I really don't know if I said thank you first and then went off on him, or if I just went off and walked away and said, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> like, "Lord, okay, well, sorry to that man." There's a gentleman that th- I go to the mirror after work quite often. There's a gentleman that works at this a place called Shoto. I think I don't remember his name. Um, I should remember his name, but like I met him because we were drunk one night. He took a random photo of me, and now since then he's always this. He's been trying to say that I look beautiful for like weeks. Just like you know, like last time when I was there, he was just like you know, you know, hand on thigh, like you, you look great tonight. You know, you look great, and I'm just like, ha ha ha, yeah, like looking around, like I hear him, but I'm not even responding. Oh my god! So I'm gonna have an issue. <laughs> and are you doing that subconsciously? It is just, it's just happening. And then, then I'll get back to my house like, damn, I think people are really trying. So now I'm like. That's the universe tr- talking to you, I, I'm I'm trying to be softer, I guess, in my, uh, I'm trying to accept, mm-hmm. right? Like, I need to hear it. I should probably acknowledge. Receive. Yes, receive. <laughs> but, like, these men, are, I'm like, I'm, I talk all this shit, but there are men literally, like, you know, who are, pro- like, really cool prospects of probably, like, oh, let's see how, how where this will go. That I'm just like constantly acting like nothing's going down. Like, mm, all right, whatever. Yeah. Uh huh. I'm cute. Whatever. <laughs> Where's my free meal? You know when what are you gonna ask me fix, out? What might fix this <laughs> subconscious conundrum? Giving a shot to a different approach to dating, <laughs> like love is blind. Bruh, I'm friends. not doing this. <laughs> friends. Single friends. Not doing love as well. I clearly can't go on. I just <laughs> and I want to live through y'all. <laughs> just so wrong. Let you do it for the show. You gotta kiss nobody. Why right, as you trying to convince me to let her go on these random ass shows all the time? I'm like, for sure, what? Yeah. <laughs> so, so we get a check real quick. I don't understand why we can't just... Because they're gonna do a background check and find out you're legally married oh. and they're gonna ask you about it. Yeah. So then what are you gonna say? You just gotta interview you through it. Like <laughs> So, y'all, I'm trying to get my friends to go on Love is Blind DC because oh, they're casting right now. But they just don't want to be great with me. I just, <laughs> they don't want me to live this If day. I can't even accept a person in front of me. <laughs> this so is why this amazing. challenge will be so enlightening. Oh, man. Consider yeah. life research. I've already got a great relationship with the network. I'm not going to talk about the network. Of people. Mm-hmm. Got a great relationship what with the network it? of people. Oh, is this an animal, bitch? Is it true? 
Is it oh, shrimp? Oh, shit. A shrimp chocolate. Oh, wow. What a great day. I did take <laughs> I did take a piece of some This is a acid beautiful, yesterday, beautiful so. day. We're going to do a psychedelic week. Oh, wow. Going down. We need a second piece of this day. Oh, shit. It's a great day, y'all. That was a good one. Oh, shrimp. Mmm. I just need to. Cheers, guys. I tripped yesterday. Well, um, mm, yeah, I'm just jumping right now. They don't even know how strong it is. Right. Like, this is. <laughs> I had a full meal before I came. Two, three, five. Okay. Okay, cool. Ooh. As a. My first time having stream chocolate, y'all. You're with me on this Beautiful journey. person that thinks. Thank you, Ty. Psychedelics are the best thing that ever happened to humans. I'm so <laughs> happy to have. Those are my we have now. Ventured in. So welcome to the community. Mm. To the psychedelic community. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh, God, that chocolate's so good with this whiskey, too. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm, mm, Actually, mm. really is. God, that is so floral. Mm-hmm. Jesus. Mm. All right. That rye? Yep. So thank you, Rihanna, for... Choosing to bless us. Yes. I'm having Did anybody more say how much is getting paid? Specifically for that. No. They don't really share. Ballpark. What do you think? First of all, it's not a lot for what they're used to getting paid for a show based on how Mary J. Blige described it. Because she was like, really, you take the pay cut for the opportunity for the fact that it's a Super Bowl. I don't think she's getting a pay cut. It's Rihanna. Who knows? You brought her out of the woodworks. Y'all brought her ass. Come on, out of what fucking, that? What that? What that negotiation look out like? Of the Fenty Cave. First to off, perform. Who is the PR but for the, the thing Super about Bowl? It is, you know who's no. You know what? Jay Z is responsible for the for the entertainment programming now, though. Oh, and, now it makes and it makes that perfect does make fucking sense. sense. I forgot about that. Perfect fucking sense. Damn, I was thinking about him and Beyonce. People the talk all that shit about Jay Z taking a job with the NFL, but come on now, bro. Last we haven't complained since. I I forgot. Did he take it but before J Lo? It been t- or J Lo was J Lo was after J Lo. After J Lo, so last because, year. Because um, yeah, because I was gonna say the Dr. Dre situation. That was that was Jay Z. Yeah, that was great. So last year's Super Bowl not, halftime even, was amazing. I didn't jump on a bad wagon to, to, to trash Jay Z for taking the for taking the. Gig. I didn't trash it either. I was just like, I mean, we know what the NFL is, so like you know. But you gotta do what you gotta do when you're you gotta in do, the you upper gotta echelon of America. Rich, that. you gotta make change from the inside. He's one of the few black billionaires that's gonna make it in that room. I commend him for walking. He makes it. Into, it. He and makes sit, it into the rooms. Taking his seat at the fucking table. He makes it into the rooms. He does what he has to do. But also, we have to understand that he's at a different level. So, like, nah, yeah. not everything's gonna really affect the rest of us. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It just be like that. But I'm having in the super grand scheme of things. I know that at the grand in the grand scheme of things, we gonna have some great Super Bowl <laughs> half times, and I'm here we for that. Some great Super Bowl half times, and I'm here for that. And I think this is just a way of him continuing to build leverage to have a bigger say on a bigger on a for the bigger picture that'd be great um if he's thinking of this which i'm sure he is from a business person standpoint it's yeah. giving let me just build up my numbers so that i then have leverage when i want to talk about the things that directly affect this league because he's also in sports management right so it all ties in together yeah. it all ties in together zmz he's a smart man sean wow he's sports ball is man. back too by the way what's back sports ball what's that every sports they're back people are going to sports games and they're excited for football i want to tailgate they're, for, that's some football games i'm really tailgating do. sports I ball love tailgating I'm the world tailgate cup is about to happen soon i'm a football bitch <laughs> I love it. I do. I do love to go to games. I like to go to baseball games. I like to go to games. I like to go to sports games, period. I like to go to basketball games in person. But I don't like watching it as much on TV. But I can watch football on TV and I enjoy the it's games. It's kind of just like also like a music park. Like, it's just a shit ton of people. There's lines everywhere. The bathroom lines. There's drink bathroom lines. lines there's bad. lines to get That's to your seats. That's why I like to tailgate, though, because I get fucked up beforehand. <laughs> but For then I just sure. want to fall I asleep. good food beforehand. Oh yeah, I think I'm it's not doing really, all hot dogs and not like people shit. really tailgate hard. I've never been yes, able to tailgate. Yes, people get before. trailers and pay for spots. They bring out like I, I've gone to a couple of tailgates at the Redskins Stadium. Yeah, and I refuse to call them the Commanders. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I call them the Washington Football Team just to be respectful, but uh, you're not giving Commanders. 
It's not giving me No, you're not going to get it. I'll, I'll, I'll nix the red and say skins. I've done a few skins games, like tailgating <laughs> or whatever. It was a lot of fun. What's and some people logo pay now? just for that spot. They get a trailer, yeah. and they just watch the game from the trailer or whatever, yeah. which is actually more fun to me than dealing with all the hoopla inside. That makes you sense. You have your own bathroom. You're still watching, whatever. Right. Like, you get to get out of the madness before everybody else leaves. Like, I prefer that. But, yeah. But um, I don't know what the logo is. I don't know. <laughs> it's I like know. a... When they... W? When they announced the name Commanders, I was like... People start calling us the commies. Let's see. Bruh! We just can't catch a break. <laughs> then we just be losing that shit, so... We just so. can't catch a fucking uh, We're not commanding break. shit. And it has not helped with the fucking performance. We're not commanding so shit. So that eliminates the idea that it's a curse because of the name. leg tattoos? Bitch, she's covered. Let's not even... We'll, that'll be a whole nother episode diving into Shantae's tattoos since she went to fucking Houston. We're gonna make her take pictures I guess, so you guys Shout out see. to Black Ink. Y'all are doing a lot on my friend. Okay. They're doing pretty. a lot. They're You're good, doing a lot. Good line work, guys. I mean, it's beautiful work. Don't get me wrong. Beautiful the work, work is really it's good. It's art, but it's a lot. <laughs> God damn it. That, that shit has multiplied friend. exponentially since she left. That's true, though. But she grown, her legs is grown, her body grown. Yeah. We gonna count after this. We gonna count. Hey, it's gonna be too fucking much. We'll be here all night. See, I told you when I be on shrooms, everything feels like I'm like watching a movie, and I'm the only one who knows it's a movie. That is so funny, man. <laughs> I'm trying to observe. You're breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> I'll be like that. Okay, let's do our fourth sip and get into where we eat. And we're going to take fifth, our fifth, great gotcha. conversation. Fifth sip, yes. Oh, sure. Fifth Are we sip. on fifth, right? We're on fifth. Okay. Um, and then, yes, we'll table this great conversation for our next episode. Yes, yes, yes. So, fifth sip is yeah, another yeah. single barrel select. So, okay. we had this beautiful pick from Fred Minnick at first. Now, we have another beautiful pick from Jack of the Hood Sommelier. Oh, okay. Uh, awesome. Capri's, Capri's crush. She's not crushing on him. He's crushing on her. It's a lie because he, he came to the city and didn't even tell me he was going to come. Bitch, he didn't say nothing. No. I was trying to get them to go to Allegory when told we came you, back from, When you told me. Because you told me it was wrong. I was like, came he back came? From Jersey, bitch. I was like, let's go to Allegory. He was nothing. so determined to go to Chicken and Whiskey. It's like, okay. So we're on Tony's dick. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You just want to go where you know your whiskey friends, whatever. He was, he was there. He was at a different location, but it was fun. I'll be at um, a good time. And yes, Chad, uh, fucking having tink tink in his uh, in his scotch with my mother. Yeah, yeah, a mess. Yeah, I a this. mess. But hey, Jack. So this is hey, his pick Jack. from two nine one. Love it, love it. <laughs> we gonna take me out to Say dinner. That Same that. shit. Take me to dinner, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Bing bong. Bing bong. <laughs> what you got to send to Joe Barber right now? <laughs> hey, baby. Take, Take me, me out to dinner. dinner. <laughs> so this is Whoa. barrel number 766. Hey, no. <laughs> um, and it is 129.6 proof. Shit. Jack. Come on, man. <laughs> My African brother. No. Words of wisdom from Africa. I'm just honestly though, y'all. I'm happy this stuff is finally breaking up. I'm not gonna lie, because it's just, yeah, just it's sitting, gotta come like, out a fucking lump. It might just you know when it just sits there, you just like you a gotta big get it out. Rock of disgustingness. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. And I hate if the y'all spit. are struggling with the fall allergies. Comment below. No, seriously, I hate the spit. Like I hate I I don't I don't throw up. I'm, I actually I am not a thrower upper unless I, it's food poisoning. I will not throw up if I'm that drunk. Really? Nitty. I can't puke. Oh, I'm getting it out. Mm -mm. I'm getting I will it just I'll just I'll just turn and toil. Oh, not turn and toil until bubble, it goes away. Bubble bubble toil the trouble. Yeah, exactly. I, but I will never. So I also don't like to spit. Like I literally don't like to like. See, I smoke so much weed, I'm used to it. I'm not hawking no loogies or nothing. Yeah, but no, like, I don't like the taste of, like, smoke. I can't even so do it So I don't like swallow it. I have to spit it out. Oh, it's so weird for me to try to, like, get moisture together to throw it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> like, to so get so moisture together. <laughs> <laughs> Just, like, <laughs> makes no sense to me. It, so th th TMI, but I'm gonna go here. I know oh my mother my and father God. be watching this, and it's probably the insight to my life. You're a spitter, not a swallower. You're a swallower, not a spitter. I not. definitely swallow. Oh, I definitely swallow. You can put your See? babies in my throat all day. But was was I found hard. Out a lot of 
is a swallower. Lotto? She better with a big old baby. She, him. When big Carisha, Lotto! When Carisha says she does not swallow, she was like, grow up. Uh, yeah, period. <laughs> she was like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Just drink it. Just drink it. Great. It is, episode, honestly, Carisha, please, honestly. Way. Definitely have had a tasting of sperms. It's really uh, scientifically amazing the different tastes that come from that. But you can tell a person's diet. It took me a long time to get great at the sloppy head. Because because it requires spit? Because, oh, and lots of it. Like, you got to, like, really, like... Like already get your first off, you're already high yeah, probably. Your mouth so has like to be try wet, to get your wet mouth already. as wet as possible, and then come out and then try to like get a good glump. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. To make it make it do what it needs to do. It's, I'm it's, just picturing all of the <laughs> flicks I've seen. <laughs> so with the professionals, it was. Somehow. It's, I'm getting better. I'm getting better, but um, I'm not the best you're sloppy head girl. girl. I'm not a you're best not a sloppy head girl. We I try to get something new about Capri today, guys. Yeah, yeah, She's yeah. Not a spitter. Cheers, 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 cheers to not being. <laughs> cheers, swallowing. <laughs> Fourth sip. Let's see what you're talking about, Jack. I don't know how us talking about your single belt turned into. Oh that my god, sorry, Jack. <laughs> we we love your picks, though. We, yeah. we do. We do. We, okay. That's hilarious. Ooh, it smells okay. like rose. It is very rose. Yes. Like rose. Like, oh, so rosy. Rosy, also Rose chocolatey. Water, chocolate for sure. Mm-hmm. Rose water for sure. Strawberry milk. Ooh, reminiscent of my grade school days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, when you, like when you crack up, because it's not just elementary or just middle, like, grade they school. had that fucking strawberry milk all through school. Yeah, yeah. Every fucking I year. Couldn't about, escape it. You ever think about school lunches? Yes. Just Taco wow. Day used to be clutch. I used to love chicken. T- until this day, I still love chicken tenders. And I used school. to make my boyfriends buy me the shit they make making chicken tenders and honey wings mustard. and shit. I blame on school for sure. Like, <laughs> mm-hmm. like that shit crazy. Those were the good old days. Them buffalo wings used to hit. But they was like $4 a pop. Yeah. It's like, nah. Oh my God. The all Excuse me. Line. Thank you, boyfriend. My middle school had um, boardwalk fries. Ooh, and it made pay for them. Yeah, it was like oh, the a la carte line. It was the a la carte line. So if you yeah, got extra money. Yeah, a la carte line. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes I have, like, you go ahead and get that malt vinegar. Ooh, so oh, big. Ooh, the old baby. Oh, they oh. was petty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to pay for that. Because who will say no to that? <sighs> and then you, t- you enticing teenagers who were as possible money as it My is. My high school, if you got there early enough, they would have uh, Chick fil A chicken biscuits. Ooh. Bitch. Oh, bitch. I said, wow, school's Wait, weird. Was this in school's weird. One, so the middle school was here in, um, in Summer Maryland. Spring. Mm-hmm. It was at uh, Brick Shading. And then, um, yeah, then high school was uh, down in Georgia. But uh, mm. that's where I fell in love with the chicken biscuit. Mm. For sure. Because their biscuits were so, it was just buttery mm-hmm. goodness with this tasty ass chicken. Yes, oh God. my God. Mm-hmm. I know it's hate chicken, but baby, I be eating it. And that's some delicious ass hate chicken. It's I some- hate it. <laughs> I hate it. But yeah, it's so good. So good. Oh my God. The grilled nuggets. I got, I'm trying to be good these days and yeah. get into some grilled shit uh-huh. and not just fried shit. Yeah. And the grilled nuggets. Oh my Really? With the sweet, spicy sriracha, bitch. Ooh, what? Oh, my God. Good. With a waffle fry on the side of ranch, Ooh, bitch. Waffle what? Fries. Oh, God. The I waffle fries. I was like, fries. oh, get the fuck out of Dodge. And Y'all some I buy their sauce. I buy people. Chick-fil-A sauce. Every time I get Chick-fil-A, I buy a bottle of uh, Chick-fil-A sauce. We definitely I, keep, I keep some Chick-fil-A stock. and Polynesian in the house. And you I just stack to. up on the sweet, spicy sriracha. Yeah. Because yeah. I ain't buying a whole bottle of that shit. But yeah. I do collect them. Yes. Oh, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. Okay, but yeah. So we wrote. Sorry, Jack. We didn't deviate it again. We love you, though. <laughs> not laughing at the taste is delicious. Bruh. That shit was funny. I'm laughing at all of our oh, sound bitch. effects. Oh god, Jack, Ooh, come water on. me, baby. Water me, baby. How me what? Water me. Just get the whole squirt. Pause. Thank you. Squirt. Now, have you ever swallowed squirt before? No. But I have not I've not tried to make a... Sorry, Rob. I have not tried to make her squirt. Yeah. I should. Yeah, yeah, but you should. she right. gets so sensitive. 
<laughs> we'll talk about this later. Yes. <laughs> so sorry, I ain't gonna bust. It. I ain't gonna bust out my personal life quite like that. I Though it. I don't I'm... care about me per se. Right. Roz a bit more private. Yes, she is so. a very private person. But no, we have not. Okay. So I'll divulge into that over dinner. Yeah, women come in the mouth is definitely different, but also a very pleasurable thing to happen. Like in the mouth, you're like ha. Oh! <laughs> I got you! Got you, bitch! Ah! Yeah, we'll talk it's about quite that later. An accomplishment. We'll talk about that later. Mm. What do you think? Woodsy as fuck. I'm, I'm getting the staves. I'm getting some herbaceousness because it's it's not menthol, so it's not mint, but it's like this sensation that you get from a pungent herb. Yeah. Kind of like, I don't know if it's piney. Kind of. Yep. It's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, right? Like, huh. The nose, so for all of these, the nose and the palates have just not been completely. They're not safe. Yeah. Like, they're two different experiences. Which, which I'm, is cool. I'm trying to trying to figure out if that's the way I like my whiskey. It's I such an adventure. I don't adventure. mind being surprised one way or the other as long as they're both enjoyable right oh excuse me it's 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 crazy how how mm. this one of course is yeah but i almost finished it though <clears throat> it's delicious all right where you eat definitely herbaceous so where i'm definitely eating a capital girl yeah talk to us shout out to moira hey she was great hey we actually sat outside this past week uh-huh. it was nice I never really sat out on Pennsylvania Avenue in that area of Pennsylvania Avenue. You just see all the suits and shit. It's really a, it's a weird thing, honestly. It's like <clears throat> there, honestly, almost anywhere up and down Pennsylvania on the northwest side. Yeah. Any of those spots you see on or off Pennsylvania is going to be all the suits. Like yeah. the Joe's fucking seafood. At yeah. their happy hour, you're going to see the fucking suits. Yeah. If you go to fucking um, PJ Clark's, which is my favorite little corporate spot to go and get my lunch when I was working at the bank yeah their food is still good yeah suits nothing but fucking suits (laughs) but they're also right there by the White House so everyone in that area is like a fucking lobbyist or a lawyer or some bullshit um so it was no different when we went it was straight suits and that motherfucker and then there was us (laughs) (laughs) the black folks but hello black folks be telling me how good that hello black folks go to Capitol Grill because it is like that the food is bomb steakhouse wise I mean quality of food is great the oysters were great nice Um, I I think we me and my mom split like the roasted chicken with Mm. the risotto it was good oh Um, what else did we get the lobster bisque was bomb they made a mean Plymouth dirty martini you know I get them filthy yeah (laughs) And if y'all follow me on Instagram, you'll see my picture. The martini was beautiful. They gave yeah. me three fucking olives. It was yes. great. Um, and me and my mama had shrooms right before going to dinner. Nice. So that plus the martinis was nice. Yeah. Um, so it was just a good time. Me, oh, her, God. my aunt, and two of my aunt's friends that all had dinner. And it was great. It was yes. nice. It was a nice little catch up. I've been enjoying my, my outings with my mom a lot lately. I love like, to hear that. We've been losing track of time. Like we just been getting so caught up in just talking or whatever. It's been really nice. Well, I didn't catch up on things with my dad, but we'll save that for later. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask, but I didn't know if that's... We haven't brought yeah, it up we'll keep here. that yeah. off. Yeah. We'll wait. <laughs> for a different episode or a different time. Maybe, maybe when if we, we talk about up. radical acceptance, that might um, be a more appropriate ooh, conversation. Yeah. So, yeah. But <clears throat> separately, I'll catch y'all up, though. But, yeah. That's what I'm eating. Capital Grill and bamboo sushi in fucking Costa Rica ooh. was everything. Ooh. And they made a good Aperol Spritz, too. Ooh. I was impressed. I was impressed. Because Costa Rica wasn't giving me what it needed to have gave for for, for vacation dining. Yeah. And definitely not the cocktails. I had a really bomb um, coconut something in an actual coconut at Coco Loco, though. Yeah. And that was really good. Yeah. But other than that, I was making my own shit. Mm. We was getting drunk beforehand. Um, but no, there they made a pretty good Aperol Spritz and the sushi was just, I mean, the seafood was so fresh. The lobster was so fresh. The lobsters come out like black and red and yeah. not just like red, which was yeah. interesting. Mm. Just the different, you know, Caribbean lobsters, crustaceans different. from different areas. It was just yeah. a different thing. Mm. Um, so that was interesting. They give you like the whole lobster, not just the tail. Well, I guess they're not Caribbean. They're, they're like, Costa uh, Rica's, it's like, uh, is it the Caribbean? Cause it's the, it's I know they're like South right America, by the equator, right? Cause they're, Maybe they're not, not just island, South America. Right? No. Yeah, so they're like right after 
Mexico into like the Panama, El Salvador. Uh, traveling that direction, yeah. I can't remember what that yeah. area is called. Somewhere close to the equator, that's all I got. <laughs> Geography was not my strong suit in school. I can't um, remember what the area is called, damn. But the waters are Caribbean, I believe. Mm-hmm. I but think. yeah, yeah they yeah. sushi is everything. Damn, everything. that's awesome. But in terms of home, Capital Girl's worth it. And as for Moira. Okay. Moira. Because she's great. That's hilarious. (laughs) Um, And then, yes, where are you eating? So, went to New York recently and did a little pop up with Allegory. (laughs) Yes, because it should be work. It should be all boobs. And we went to, we were invited to go to lunch at a place called Janoon. Very mm-hmm. award winning Indian food spot. Ooh, it hey, you know, was delicious. Food. I have so many videos that I really just. Ooh, I have yay. so much stuff to make into a real. Girl, make sure you upload all this to the drive yes. so I can make little snippets for everybody. Um, but Janoon was great. Um, their flavors were awesome. Like, they had these crispy eggplant dish that mm. right now I want so bad. I want it so bad right now. Oh my God. It was so good. Um, I didn't have the salmon, but people said the salmon dish was the best um, on the table. It looked beautiful. I have a video of it. It looks mm. amazing. Um, they did lamb really well. Um, yeah. Janine was great. But if you're ever in Catalina, you're going to go to Carmen. Mm. Carmen. Ooh, bitch. They start you with a... A moosh boosh. Mm, a uh, moosh boosh me. <laughs> that was amazing. It was like a little bit of lobster. I think like a little truffle. Mm. And this corn cracker that wasn't... It was like cornbread, but really, 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 really flat. Because it was that soft. Mm-hmm. But it looked like a cracker. So, But mm. it didn't... It, it, it wasn't crunchy. If yeah. Made sense. Yeah, it does. <sighs> Started with that. And then I go into... I think... I can't remember. I have to take... I'll have to look the videos. But it was... Uh, every dish was amazing. I got lamb there too. That was okay. They kind of did like a lamb. It looked like meatloaf almost. Like they pulled the lamb meat, it mm-hmm. seemed like, and then like made it into this thing. I feel like the way that it was cooked, it made the, the lamb meat a little bit drier than I wanted it to be, but everything else was so great. Mm. Um, the, uh, just, I uh, just... I want to go back so I love bad. Moments like that, we just were so. That was a really, and I was by myself, and mm. it just was like a very intimate. This is what I want my life to be, type of thing. Yes, it was. Um, it was a part of your manifestation. Yeah, it was a good day to just. I like to travel alone. I really, really do. And I think that was the first time I was alone in another country. Like, there are people, my friends were in the city, but, like, that was the first time for me to, like. You were out and about by yourself. Yeah, in another country. So that was cool to feel. But, um, Carmen. Shouts out to you. Well, and then, Pascal's. Oh, Ooh. my God. Pascal's, you did, I went for you for breakfast twice. Out of this world, their mimosas. I know this is weird to say, but their fucking mimosas. Mm. This juice was so fresh, and it just didn't taste like American oranges. Like mm. you could tell, like these juices, the, the the fruit that they use was from Came from their. Land. Oh my god! Ooh, yes. And the perfect, um, like the and perfect. I'm sure the balance. ripeness was probably <laughs> on a different level because of the like here the in America. We're like you, this is how you make mimosas. It's like a drop of orange juice. That's because our orange juice is trash, and so it doesn't taste great. This was a really great incorporation of juice and sparkling wine mm. that made it taste like a very, and I mean, refreshing, Damn, now refreshing, refreshing. Like you're coming in, we came in over a hangover, like, ooh, sunglasses, like, let me get my mouth. And you like take a sip and you like life breathe into you. Like, ooh, yeah. I had never had a mimosa so fucking good, man. It was crazy. Mm. But they had a, they, so. That day I ate there. I don't know, but it was so good. It was so good. They would do mashed um, plantains that almost taste like um, mashed potatoes almost. Ooh. And it had like a chorizo. So they kind of whipped it. Yeah, it was really nice. But Ooh. I'm trying to find a photo of this cronut. So a cronut is Ooh, make sure you upload. a croissant donut. Oh, you were telling me about this. Okay. Oh, my motherfucking goodness gracious. Lord have mercy. Look at this sauce. Ooh. Oh, damn. Just Is that oozy. caramel on top? It's a dolce de leche. Damn, this look at the sugar. This was on it. the mm, it looks best. fresh, too. What is it about Caribbean or South American countries or whatever and the aquapana? I love it. No complaints because I drink aquapana. But it's just so funny how readily available it is yeah. there. Yeah, I don't but. know. But, y'all, it melted 
and was buttery. I can't even explain. Me and, me and Tana's girl, Nikki, shout out to you, girl. You're amazing. You're so funny. Um, we were like, the, literally the best thing. We, we were so at awe of eating it. Like, it was so good. Well, I love moments like that with food. <sighs> well, shout out to y'all, honey, because she great. is taken aback. I am. I, I and I also had a feet. low standard because people were like, ah, you know, Colombian food's not that great. Da, da, da. I had a low standard. Always oh, depends on who you ask. That's true. But I, I was asking like people award winning chefs and yeah. stuff like that. They're like, ah, whatever. So it was, it was surprising. Like I had amazing food when I was there. Good. I really did. You were meant to so that you could share so, the message that there is amazing there food. There is good food. In Colombia. You can find great food and great drinks. But that's the episode. Well, Let's see. Where's good, my favorite? Child. Yes. I'm Let's go eat. Let's rhyme. eat some good. What's the time is it? I know. We're going to get oh, some, yeah. some seafood our damn self. Yeah, let's do it. Um, cheers to eating good. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and right. engage. Yeah. Um, if any of these bottles interest you, we still have 291 available on the website. I cannot tell you off the top of my head which ones are sold out and which are not. Um, in terms of single barrels, I do know there should be some FM1 and Winter Sucks left. Um I believe there's still rye whiskey left. I believe there's still some single barrel bourbon left. So anyway, um, should you choose to try any of these, you get free shipping with the promo code SOUL at SEALBOX.com or on the SEALBOX app. (laughs) And that's our show. Yeah. It's giving an episode. We did it. Yes. Clank, clank. Ooh. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) That was good. Bye. Baby.